Oh, I was unmuted this whole time. Well, that was an accident. Let's play some Nanako. Because I feel like it. I wanted to play some Nanako, I'm gonna play some goddamn some Nanako. And also, while I'm waiting... Okay, it's working. Just wanted to make sure that my tits... Wait, is tits working? Yeah, okay, tits is working. Okay. Attention. Any normal human being hit by a metal plate, especially at that speed, would be dead. Like, no ifs, ands, or buts, they would be dead. PDA time. You have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA yeah, has I'm now rebooted dead. in emergency so mode with one directive to keep you me. alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Wait, I can move around while this menu is open? Huh, I guess that's the privilege of having playing this on a keyboard. Okay, what do we got? Players that no one uses water and food. I'm gonna have to get used to hitting tab for that shit. But let's climb the ladder up, because this is my favorite animation out of the Water time. The yeah, Aurora I just got an achievement for diving for the first time, but this is definitely is not my first playthrough. Zero human life signs detected. I've played through this game an ungodly amount of times, and I just felt like playing it again, just because it's a relaxing game. I just now noticed that the fucking tip of the boomerang is a mouth. I did not even know that Karar fucking infected creatures spawned this early. Like, genuinely, I did not know that could even happen. Thank you, boomerang. is no, essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. And now for the second animation. The more practical one. Oh, that's, a, that's an egg. Is there any crash fish in here? Not that I can see, but then again, I don't see anything else. Salt. That's not really useful. No salvage. Seven meters about. I actually don't even know what direction oxygen. this is. Ah, shit. My number one killer. Running out of fucking oxygen. Ah, <laughs> oh, God, I need to get better at that. I 
always fucking end up almost dying because of my stupidity when it comes to oxygen. Uh, is there anything down here? Supports. Silver-based wire. It's an essential shit. component of many habitat modules. Copper, <laughs> Copper is an okay. essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased what? to unlikely, Fuck but plausible. Come on, don't fucking die. Go that is my number one cause of death. Every time I've played this, I spend way too much time underwater and I die because I forget to breathe. And I want to get better at that in this playthrough. Okay, spins. Probably should have been more The fabricator draws from available did. data to provide environment appropriate equipment. Using locally available materials. Okay, there we go. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. That subtitle is just straight up wrong. It says the survival knife is the only exception. But she doesn't say that. She just straight up says the wrong fucking she just straight up says the wrong thing. Right, did, did I need something else for the battery? Is that a one? I don't remember needing second copper. No, I'm just an idiot. New blueprint acquired. The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints. Don't from salvage technology okay. and to record alien biological data. Actually, of all the stuff this fucking guy puts right up to his face, the scanner's probably the least of his concern. Self-scan complete. Vital signs normal. Continuing to you know, monitor. the giant fucking concussion I just got, but I guess that's not something to be concerned about. That off. I got a scan. Thank you. I mean, the sea glide should be great. Yeah, I knew it was sea glide. Damn, only two fragments? I remember that being at least three.
replicator cooks small organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. That's... mildly terrifying. But I'll deal with the fucking implications of that. may have unexpected applications. Utilizing alien Oxygen. resources is a proven survival strategy. Oxygen. 
scanned one of you. Never mind, you have no interest. You are of no interest to me anymore. Yeah, I Detecting make... increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planet four. <sighs> yeah, I'd make more what's it called? I'd oh wait, I'd make a flashlight, but the Seamoth is just gonna be a flashlight anyway, so why would I even bother? Just with the assistance of the suit, or he's breathing. He's guy's holding his breath all on so And if he is, that's fucking impressive. I think it's detecting sulfur deposits for like half in the local cave minutes. systems. Sulfur is an essential component of the repair tool. Shut up, bug. Now you're scanned, though. Fucking cave sulfur in your sulfur plant. Oxygen. And here comes death number one to fucking oxygen. Oh, actually, never mind. <coughs> Whatever. I'm going straight home to make the repair kit and all this other crap I need. It's just, I don't. I don't have the time to deal with this crap. I'm going home. Finally found a crash fish cave. I'm just gonna go get this stuff. Hopefully I got cop did I get any cop yeah I have not enough copper. Okay, that's clearly fucking you shitheads. So again, I can reiterate my statement. Can you fucking not make that fucking god awful sound? That would be appreciated. I wonder why it only gave me a new notification for the water and not for the fucking fish. Ah, thank god I finally have the repair tool back. 
character is so fucking stupid. This is an error. Distress signal received. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in nine, 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 nine hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life points. Life point secondary systems online. Running full environment diagnostic and outputting results to data bank. I don't really get what the point of repairing this thing is besides just fixing the lights. Like, what does it really accomplish for me? Standard O2 tank. I should have made that agent go. That did not increase my much. More titanium and some glass. I should have been collecting that damn. Should have been da collecting that damn portals. Could you not make those fucking god awful noises? <sighs> I just told this doesn't turn out. Fucking nightmare. Like basically every place it turns into. It's for some reason or another. Did I have to remember to save? Is that a vehicle bay fragment? Oh hell yeah, that definitely a good one. And stone. And stone. Seconds. Oh, thanks for the bits, Purple Rose. Shit, did the. Yeah, damn it! I, 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 I should probably get to the surface before I start complaining about the stupid thing not working. It, I swear to god, I fucking set up. Oh, no, I swear to god, I set something up for bits last night. Do it right. I swear to god, did I not fucking set this up right? <sighs> what, whatever. A fucking... God. This is so fucking annoying. I swear to god, I set a thing up so it would throw shit at you, but no, it doesn't fucking work. Looking for baby sea glide fragment. New blueprint acquired. Now I got the new toys. 
I'm still working. I'm still gonna work for some crap. So I can upgrade my oxygen. Because I have to be forward. I have to be forward in combating my greatest fucking weakness. Suffocating to death. Because there is literally one thing that kills me the most. And that is suffocating. Increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. I already got a sea glide. And since I'm on fucking mouse and keyboard, I can actually toggle the map and fucking light individually instead of on a controller. Where I literally had to individually toggle them. Like for a collective, it was literally like a collective thing where I had to toggle through a mode where it's the flashlight, the map, the flashlight, no map, the flashlight, no flashlight, and a map, and then nothing. So yeah, that was a fun, that was a fun experience. <laughs> trying to scale like a fighter. You know what? I'm a stubborn piece of shit. Speaking of good size, look at these big bags. Get you scanned, but you don't have a fucking tiger shell thing on your back. Short range scans suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. World Papyrus. Wait, wait, and I should probably regain my oxygen. Though it is really weird to see a reef back this close to the surface. Usually I like to stay low. Also, a spade fish. That's new. Come on, game, just scan him so I can keep moving. Data. That would honestly be fucking great if you could just screw off. Blueprint acquired. Need. Prepare these water 
ration ahead of acquired will help ensure against dehydration and eventual death. Laser cutter. I mean, it's gonna be a while before I even able to get this. But every fragment I can find of it is a good one. Need blueprint acquired. Laser cutter. Does this just go outside? No, this is this is literally the most useless air vent I've ever seen. Thirty seconds. Oh hi, Reginald. I almost walked past the second laser cutter fragment because this room is so goddamn dark. I'm ninety percent sure this will just lead to outside. <laughs> it's worth opening anyway. Seriously? Just three ass laser cutters. No, no. See, this is what I mean when I say that 90% of my deaths in this fucking game are oxygen based. This is gonna be close. <sighs> I'm the reason I'm the kind of person as to why they have to put coffee as a hot warnings on the fucking cups. I will do the stupidest shit. Anyway, give me the fucking butter fracture. New blueprint acquired. Laser cutter fragment. And there we go. This was a very good expedition. We got a laser cutter. But you know, it's, it's good enough. I'm gonna pick up all this silver and stuff. Fire reactor. I don't use that. Oh, fucking there it is. One of those stupid shitty tiger plants. Come on, let's get the fuck out of here. Actually, I'll see if this has any. No, just titanium. Moving on. That's a spade fish. <sighs> titanium, you are the disappointment of a fucking generation. On a titanium, I would just pick up metal salvage. Thirty seconds. I mean, I'm probably gonna. Not, not my inventory is full. Can I at least take you? Yeah, food. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, let's see. Don't need lead. Definitely don't need titanium on us. Uh, we don't really need any of this crap on us. And we also need two more. Deconstruct ID. Actually, I can probably... I can probably make a ship just to save on my inventory space. No, I didn't mean to do that, but... Yeah, like I was about to say, I'm pretty sure I had to do that anyway. New blueprint acquired. This infected. Or bleach. How do I make bleach? Coral tube sample on salt. Okay, that is infinitely easier than catching those fucking fish.
should have to get ready. This is honestly the longest I've gone in a playthrough of this game without fucking dying. I wish I was fucking exaggerating. Like, I wish I was exaggerating on how fucking dumb I am. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. Yeah, I know, game. I'm trying to, you know, work on it, but you're not going to give me... You're not going to give me the rad suit, I'm pretty sure, until it explodes, so I can't... I can't do anything. Until you give me the rad suit, I can't work. So hurry it up. Chop, chop. Anyway, this guy promised C mod. C bot bay. So hopefully that means, you know. Local scans show a nearby cave entrance, depth 90 meters, leading to an unknown environmental biome. Yeah. Ozzy's log. It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared and I'm not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if they're rocks or aliens. And there's weird looking caves nearby. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There, there was a zero-G gym. My cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one's coming for me. Because I was unconscious and I'm the only one doing anything. That, that's the answer to your question. Oxygen. No, seriously, I looked away literally right fucking before I got to the surface. Will. I honestly never have. Fragment one of, I'm guessing, three. Uh-huh. Okay, here we go. This is what I was looking for. Because if I'm lucky, especially since I have the rebreather so early, I should find shale outcroppings. And if I'm really lucky... Stop catching me on nothing. 
but if I'm really lucky, it will give me a diamond. Remember that materials you gather on, are the property of the All Terra Corporation. You will be liable to reimburse the full market price. Your current bill stands at 3 million credits. The conditions in this game support a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. Magnetite. Really fucking early for that shit. You know what? I'll take it. One more shale before she says 30 seconds. Thank you. Ooh, lithium. Those are good. Time to run GTO. 
seeing light. This is Life Pod 3 uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. That builder wiring could computer ship and a battery. I don't have a cell phone. No, the hell I do not. Well, I might as well go this way. You know, my stupidity amazes even me. Integrating new PDA data. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power seller rigged to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? Oh, sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the light pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the mats, I'll be terrified. Good on him. He's, he's doing escapism. Sandstone, so I can get me some. Uh, what is that? Normal vehicle back? Yeah. That's just Titanic. Come on. Coming this way would have gotten me two. Uh, that sucks. Also, while I'm going over this way, I'm going to need game soul for a battery. So, not that expensive. the Aurora, which is both dangerous and not dangerous. It's dangerous because I'm pretty sure it's irradiated right now, but it's not dangerous because... Well, it might also not be irradiated. But most importantly, I think that's where all the uh, big boys like to make their You know, because a uh, loud bang, predators go, ooh, tasty, and then they move all the way over there. You know, fun things like that. Okay, good, we're getting copper. I don't even want to know. I just want some sweet, delicious. Actually, I need some production. Congratulations, Survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Be sure to vary your routine Don't. for uniform muscle development. Don't fucking sass me, robot. I know you're smart enough to know where the fuck I, we are and why the fuck I'm swimming so goddamn much. Don't sass me. Because I will fucking... Smash this tablet in half if I have to. Just to prove a point. Okay, I'm over here. I might as well get Stalker. Like this one's covering the rock. See if the game says anything. 
integrating new PDA data. That fucking went right past the red sand. Is that because of red sand? Yeah, there we go. Like whenever I'm not looking for something, the game fucking gives it to me in spades. Which is why I hoard shit. It's like even the lead, I'm gonna hoard that as much as humanly possible because I don't know when the game's gonna fucking need the lead. And like the second I stop picking it up, whenever I fucking get it out of sandstone, is the fucking second that I'm gonna need it. Because again, I'm an idiot. Yeah, I've definitely got some exciting news. Just Dead by Daily is finally getting cross progression this summer. And by the sounds of it, it's going to be everything that I wanted. I don't know if they're going to allow you to carry DLCs over, but again, I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. I will fucking rebuy the DLCs if I have to, but I'm not re-grinding all the progress that I made, because that is time. I have way... I have the fucking money, so if I need to rebuy the DLCs, I will. Even then, I can just buy the fucking DLCs. I hope they don't do the greedy thing and make you rebuy DLCs. Mostly because the fucking PR nightmare that would cause would be a shitstorm of fucking quantum proportions. But I wouldn't put it past them. But if it all goes right, we'll basically get everything that we have. Either PC, Steam, or Xbox, and PlayStation, depending on which way you go. Because basically no one is begging for cross-progression so they can go from Xbox to Switch, or Xbox to PS4. Because you're not gonna just fucking switch to another console just to play a specific... You're not gonna, like, fucking want to have crossplay just so you can play on a different fucking console. 30 seconds. So you can play it on your PC with your same accounts. Because I do not want to lose all the shit I have spent Oxygen. so much time working on. It's not even about the money at that point. Like, most of the stuff that I have... Not on a battery. Most of, literally all the stuff I have was from fucking, like, playing the game. I mean, yeah, I bought the fucking pass, but it was still from playing the game. The pass was just something I needed to buy. Why am I stupid? Like, I can't remember what the hell I was doing for like once in my life. Oh shit, battery. 
Luckily, I have power. So I'll just go grab that. Seriously, when it I just hope the PC version is more stable than the console version in this game. I've never played it on PC, so hopefully it's more stable. But I'm not willing to bet that it's gonna be any more stable than the console version. Warning. Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. Well, great. Thanks for saying that, game. Now I can't leave, because I'm not going to die in chat for fucking explosion of a lifetime. Designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Oh, what? You're not gonna put your finger up to the fucking laser drill? Okay, you at least have that much common sense. This, just this character's a fucking idiot. Uh, I guess that's the purpose for lead building. Collaborative effort, and you know, you're not pulling. Your, you're not pulling. Your so if you could work, that would be really appreciated. Now let's go down. Uh, I got some light. <laughs> A common complication for cave divers is loss of orientation, followed by eventual asphyxiation. Well, there's not going to be any asphyxiation today. Why are you even here? I've pod 17. 
that area because it has sandstone, that cave. It's just it just has everything I could ever fucking need. Land re recorded distress call. This is Life Pod 6. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Signal coordinates They're corrupted. Good. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Sorry, sorry to say, but you guys, you guys are dead. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but those guys are 100% dungeon rings. Mostly because of literally everyone else. Like, maybe if I woke up in time... Instead of, you know, being unconscious from the fucking concussion I got... Maybe I could have actually helped these people. But instead I got concussed and was about as useful as a concussed person can be. Which is not very But again, it's still impressive that I didn't just straight up fucking die after getting decked in the face. This person is unstuck. Oh, come This game... Ah, uh, this version of it has unstuck. And then again, maybe the console version had unstuck. And it just... Became, I just never used it, because it didn't teleport my console. I don't... I'm not using these fucking foundations. They suck. Big donkey dick. They look ugly. They seconds. get in the way. seconds. Okay, just, just fucking... 
and let me place this at least relatively centered. Now I have to fucking hurry it up, make the power, and Welcome aboard, Captain. Power restored. All primary systems online. just feel wrong to not you know this was this, I did this intentionally because you know it, it'd just be weird to not fucking end this game with death from fucking drowning but in all seriousness that that, that is 90% of my deaths I fucking drowned to death I got a dumbass because I wasn't paying attention Where the hell did I even die? The second hardest question that I have to fucking ask myself. Finding my fucking corpse. There's so many of them just T-posing. I can't even use that as a... Emergency. A quantum detonation has occurred Wait, in the Aurora's drive core. The reactor will reach a supercritical state in T-10. Go, Nine, go, eight, no. Seven, six, five, four, three, two.
No, we missed the explosion. Uh, come on. But you know what? Let's go on an adventure to the Aurora now that we have the rad suit. That fucking sucks. But nah, I don't really notice anything big in my inventory, so probably wasn't anything too important. No, do not drop the nutrient block. Just fucking eat it like a normal human. God, just eat the nutrient block. Why? Why can I just not? Like this, but you know, whatever. I just need to make this up a bit and make things lighter. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora D. Reed, over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships, they run low on engine grease, send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's going to take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. And Charter's going to have us blowing our credits, running errands for Altera. See what the long-range stands pick up in the meantime. I have time for your BS, stalker. I got to make a rad suit so I can go into the bowels of hell. Basically, all I'm more proud of getting the laser cutter already. Like, I am very proud of that. Like, I've played this game enough times to remember where stuff is. Like, I'm proud of getting the laser cutter this quickly. Okay, I just randomly take off my precious rebreather because I have to wear the full red suit. Okay, guys, now it's time to go on an adventure. Yeah! To the giant exploding ship that's on fire, 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 fire. You, you might think I'm fucking crazy, but... Oh, actually, the bomb here. Oh yeah, the PC version is so much better than the console. Whenever I get the manual save on the Xbox version, you wanna know how long it took me to save? Like, a minute. Like, I would literally be sitting there after a Subnautica play session for like a minute waiting for the game to finalize the save. God, the fucking console version of this game is so unoptimized. I think it's, it's honestly a fucking train wreck. Which hopefully means that I'm going to have much more fun playing this for the first time on PC. Because if I love Subnautica, and now I'm just playing the bitchy, shitty, broken version. I should fucking love it even more when I'm playing the actual fucking functional version. I didn't like any of the bugs, you know, besides that crab snake thing. That that that's still fucking bizarre though. Just seeing, just seeing that thing decompose. That's so fucking weird. Counted predators in the Leviathan class, highly aggressive. Spectroscope scanner assigned species designator, Reaper. One specimen yeah. attempted to swallow the life pod. Did Actually, hold on, do I have subtitles on? I mean, I've been getting subtitles, but I'm not getting subtitles for this. Doing extensive damage in the process. Only viable option is to make for the safety of the Aurora crash site. I have retrieved a data box with the creature decoy and enough resources to fabricate a couple of them. 
The swim's longer than the decoy lifetime, but it should just be enough to keep them busy. You know, it's the first time I've ever... If you don't find me on board the ship, presume I miscalculated. Life form readings in this region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. One, I don't care. I'm here for my own selfish profit and convenience. Don't try to guilt trip me, AI. There is no guilt to be tripped. Second. No shit. It's radiation. It's gonna fuck up any environment. Literally the only thing that wouldn't fuck up is the Hulk. But that's... Warning, ship structural integrity is low. Radiation. Fire suppression equipment and laser cutters may be required. Exploration is conducted at your own risk. Why do you think I made the fire extinguisher and the radiation? Could I just say something intelligent that makes sense for five minutes? Caution. Scans show Morning, the digestive sleepy. tracts of nearby life forms contain human <gasps> tissues. As you can probably hear, depending on when you got in, my brain still does not like me. Get me a propulsion cannon. Repulsion cannon retrieved. Hey, Berkeley. Install that circuit box with that repulsion cannon and you'll punch a hole in the cargo bay. Damn it, drone. I said propulsion, not repulsion. Recalibrate sensors. Sensors recalibrated. Sensors aren't the problem. I tweak the program. It's like you now. It doesn't like being told what to do. Uh, blueprint drone, acquired. I know... His name's Albert now. Albert. I know it's not your fault, but it would really help me do my job if you'd bring me what I asked for. Thanks for your time. Propulsion can retrieved. Thank you. Why? Now go away. Entering hibernation mode. Boss, this hobby of yours isn't making my job any easier. Or safer. Maybe so, but it's all that's stopping me from being so bored I take a spacewalk in my skivvies. Aurora systems are running on local reserve power. Unable to remotely download black box data. Are you sure the black box is still standing? Integrating new so here PDA we are, data. Finally in an open space. We crossed the galaxy to install a phase gate to send ships to mine resources, to build more expensive ships, to install fancier phase gates, to shake the fucking screen until I bomb. Are we trying to exhaust the galaxy or just ourselves? 1806, youth birthday. 40 weeks before we get home, 400 weeks it feels like before we get home. Not enough credits to, not enough credits Altair is paying me. One, four, five, cargo bay. Sweet, and then. Integrating new PDA data. I really hope that's not too loud. Oh, oh God, where, okay, where did it throw that? If you guys want me to, I'll read it later, but right now I do not feel like doing a lot of reading. Also, huh? huh? oh, this is the number one dick move of the game. It never tells you that it needs that you need this thing. Also, make that list number three of the stupid shit his character does. He puts his hand into a gravity gun. This character is stupid. Now it might be from the concussion he got, but this this character has less brain cells than I do. Even I would be fucking smart enough to not put my hand into a fucking 
literal thing meant to defy gravity. Hi. Scans of damage to the Aurora do not match any known offensive technologies. PDA data. Trans growth profile of Paracorp, one of the largest suppliers of spaceferic technologies and consumer electronics in the Federation. Official supplier of the TSF. It is, but okay. Consistently ranked amongst the galaxy's best employers. Began life as a defense manufacturer in the mid 22nd century. Na national motto get what you deserve. If I, if, I, if I just sat there and read out every single note I come across... Cyclops engine fragment? Hell yeah. But also I literally never get it done. At least not like this in one of these big major areas. But they have a lot of notes. Like I, I would never get anything done. Because I just... I'd walk by me and then I'd fucking find another... To break my lip. That was actually not that much fall damage. I guess in a game where you're swimming 80% of the time to 90% of the time, you don't really. You, you tend to forget to even program proper fall damage. Seamoth Bay! Let's get that bitch repaired! I have found one Seamoth fragment. So I am definitely going in here. And I think this is genuinely the first time I've ever gone to a Seamoth fragment without coming here with a Seamoth. Usually there's so much easier to find out than I actually have to do fragments. And, like I said... Integrating new PDA data. Okay, this one at least looks like it's a comedy log. VR Sweet Log. Loading program Desert Island Drama. VRAT. Size, three players. Resources, normal. Spawning players on beach. Player one has been washed away by an unusually high tide. Player two has traded coconut. A coconut with player two, three for ten credits. Player three has planted a coconut. Players are getting hungry. Player three has grown a coconut tree. Player three has eaten a coconut. Player three is no longer hungry. Player three has traded a coconut with player two for thirty credits. Player two has eaten a coconut but is still hungry. Player three has traded a coconut with player two in exchange for building a tent. Player 3 is sleeping inside their tent. Player 2 is cold. Night falls. Passing ship is offering trading. Player 2 has traded 30 credits for a musket. Player 3 has been shot in the head. While player... Player 2 has traded 30 credits for a musket. Player 3 has been shot in the head while sleeping. Player 2 wins. Player 2 has died from cold and starvation. Uh... The drive core shield sustained internal damage during collision. Stop dropping Do it. Do not attempt repair without appropriate qualifications. Bitch, I put my hands where my hands should be put. Clearly qualified to fucking repair a nuclear reactor. Don't sass me. What was that? Warning, oh, damn, local radiation at module. maximum tolerable level. Actually, I apparently I need to scan the breach. Container Here, breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Ten further breaches detected. Container breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Come on, bitch. I want to jump the fence. Sliders, is this slider even usable? No. Yeah. It's not in that direction. Yep. Repair. Contain the breach repairs. Further breaches detected. I just fucking am sorry for some more control. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Which just reminds me that I'm gonna need to fucking... 
We're gonna need to get Crashlands done fast, because I don't know how long we have until Crashlands 2. So we need to get prepared. that game done too. Further breaches detected. Oh, there's the little shit. I fucking knew there were gonna be little shits in here. Fucking bleeder. Good game. Could you just scan it consistently, please? Not be a fucking annoying shit. Thank you. Yeah, fucking. Containers are the whole reason I hate doing this. They're annoying, and they should be dead because this thing is literally pure radiation. Containment nope, breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Because, because the game says so. Oh, and also, these things are sparking in the water. Containment breach implies repaired. Electricity. Further breaches detected. Electricity implies electricity, and water and electricity do not fucking mix. Further breaches detected. Ah, that was nice to you. There it is. And that should be... This is. PDA data. And I'm 90% sure this area doesn't even have anything good in it. It takes away from this area. Huh? Now, before we go and look at the prawn bay. 90% sure that somewhere in here, behind all these pipes, is the way down to another area. Like somewhere in this corner. And I rarely go here because I keep forgetting it's a thing. So I want to try to go there. I know it's in this room somewhere, and I'm going to find it. Excellent. 
I just, I know it's in here somewhere. I know there's some fucking entrance to like a lab or some shit in this fucking room. I know it's somewhere. I want to find it. Because I never go to this part, that part of the Aurora. Because I can never find it whenever I come into these places. See how that works. There we go. Now it should in the future actually show when people fucking send bits. The way I fucking intended to. At least I hope so. black box signature originating on the other side of the hull breach in this room. Yeah, I know that. Well, I don't know that. I know that I'm looking for something in this room.
You're good, sleepy. That's a good be right back. That, that's a weird. That is, that is a weird thing to say. Data. Okay, I'll, I'll at least read that. Well, first I have to fucking look away from that shiny bright light. Initiated slingshot maneuver around planet 4546B. High velocity energy pulse detected on planet. Emergency distress signal sent to Altera, listening buoy by long range comm relay. Impact detected, life pod base on starboard side, compromised, outgoing communication is compromised. Emergency evacuation initiated, a manual piloting transferred to Captain Hollister. Life pod 1 to 27 have launched successfully. Oh hey Sleepy, you just got back in the middle of reading some lore because I found the black box room, so I'm reading the black box. Planetary atmosphere. Massive impact register to drive or shield compromised. Emergency bounce back received from life eight life pods on the planet's surface. Human life sightings detected over long range at D e plus 80 plus 8 hours. One. Personnel unaccounted for, non-essential systems. Maintenance Chief Riley Robinson. Military Chief Rescue Solution received at Plus eight hours to high priority terminal and captain members. Monitoring equipment failed at T plus 15, 13 hours. Okay, so the ship's flying body basically went down 13 hours after collision. Also, everyone look away. This thing is bright as hell. Literally the worst part about this game is how bright this thing is. Integrating new PDA data. Six four eight three is the code. The left. Why would I want a non-functional items? I say as I greedily snatch both of them up. Data bank corruption was detected on your PDA. Your technology blueprints have been updated. That's neat. I have a med kit. I have three med kits on me. I oh, fuck. I didn't even need to open that door. I literally could have just went around. Hey, what? What is it telling me? To, oh, it wants me to scan the camera. I'm wondering what the hell the game wanted me to scan here. Integrating new PDA data. It's more for to put this fire to put out.
Where's this desk? It's like the most fucking. Just, it does not want to come out. There we go. Okay. This is basically entrance B that I don't actually know how to locate. I did not just drop my fucking knife. I don't actually know how to locate that entrance, like manually. But I finally went here. Like I rarely go here on playthroughs because I usually forget it exists. And I think I got everything of value. I don't. I don't know. I rarely come here, so I don't really know if there's anything left of value. Other than that thing giving people. God, that is so bright and flashy. Anyway, time for the actual Christmas game before. Fucking Ron Suit Fragments. Yes. I doubt this will be enough. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like basically any kind of one prawn suit. Yeah. I, I say that like it's a fucking animal. Like I have to find a prawn suit as a wife. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have to find one. No, actually. There's just straight up enough prawn suits in this place and we don't want it. New blueprint acquired. What do I need for the prawn suit? I think I could genuinely make a bronze. I, I think I potentially could if I felt like it, and I, I don't. I really don't, because I love my C mod. But I genuinely think I could probably make a fucking bronze suit before I even made a C mod. If I really wanted to. But my C mod is fucking important for me not dying. For me to even think about doing that. I think that would be way too painful for me. But I could if I wanted to. Because the hardest thing about this whole thing is the flat steel ingots. And I think the main reason that's hard is because I don't even... Yeah, actually no, I literally fucking could. Because I know how to get... I know how to get this stuff for aerogel. I genuinely could make a prawn suit before I even made a sea moth if I really, really wanted to. And as funny as that would be, it's also a and not the grapple attack. The monster is even as good as the sea moth. I mean, it has its uses, but by itself, the monster isn't exactly gonna win any rewards. New blueprint acquired. New blueprint machine, acquired. Which comes with snacks, I might add. New blueprint acquired. No, oh, good for them. They use single wall shelves to actually decorate instead of just cheating and using their own fucking shit. Getting closer. Getting closer. Acquired. Integrating new EDA data. Space beer. I don't know how to pronounce. introduction to the interstellar vacuum in the 21st century, microscopic tardigrades, or space bears, have adapted and flourish where no other life forms have survived. Hence, to a spoon, smooth, nutty, protein rich soup, they are the freshest local ingredients available to travelers on long haul space flights. Oh, space bear. Bear. I, th I read that as beer. But yeah, that that's disgusting. Cottage pie or nutrient block. Rehydrated minced beef in its own gravy, served with a topping of mashed Chinese potato, picked fresh this morning from onboard grow beds, and a side of sauteed Chinese potato plant leaves. For the time cons conscious consumer, the usual nutrient block options are available. They may be consumed cold or reconstituted at the on site fabricator. Dessert. Dried fruits and nuts. This is a dystopia. Huh? Just because of the shitty food they make you eat. And no other reason. Turn water. Huh? 
I wonder if Earth is eating all this garbage or if it's just because we're in space. I got a bench and a bed. Now I can sleep in the bed. And I'll just carry on. Rich. New blueprint acquired. Or carry all, excuse me. My inventory is too full to pick it up. So I'll just drink fucking water and use a med kit. Because I'm pretty sure. Yep, the carry all adds three extra slots of inventory. It's just a useless piece of shit. I thought it would... Oh, it's not even Chinese food, Sleepy. It's just straight up fucking Chinese potatoes. That's just, that's just what the potatoes are called in this game for some reason. It's not Chinese food. Captain's Boys <gasps> and Cabin Did I get any notes that would tell me how to get to either of those quarters? No. That, that has nothing to do with anything. No. This is all geological data. Blueprints for things like a creature decoy or a ad suit, a propulsion, some kind of infection, uh, blood light. Have access. Codes one eight six nine. Hey, hold on. Is that a New PDA data. This definitely was the fucking. I mean, it has a double bed. New blueprint acquired. Ooh, blue cap. <gasps> yep, game. Just. Oh, you should be able It's a fucking. It's a dragon toy. I need it in my life. Give it to me. The only thing left is this captain quarter shit, which I don't have access to. I guess I'll just put out as much fire as I can with this. Integrating new PDA data. Carry on. There you go. This item. Like the third Bronzu poster. Listen, I know I don't have the right to make demands of you, but I need you to understand that I want That's to change different. our arrangement. I hear what you're saying, and I will try to respect it. How would you like to change it? I would like to reduce our contact hours. How much further can we do that? To zero. You're dumping me. I'm changing the terms of our relationship. How is it still a relationship if we don't see each other? It's a relationship of a kind. You have so many expectations. I feel you just want to spend more time with that dumb guy in his dumb robot suit. That's not a feeling. It's a judgment. And I feel hostility in what you're saying. Perhaps your jealousy is a sign that you need to take another look at your business model. Why can't you just be happy for me? I am happy for you, and I'm happy for all the guys in the prawn bay. I'm just not happy for me. This is why I want to change our arrangement. What a bitch. Alright, time to leave. Let's 
get out of this shit, Wolf. Don't even try to tell me it's not. Because this place is literally on fire 24 7. It has exploded twice. Which is twice as much as any normal place should explode. It's two times too many, and one times more than your average thing explodes. Usually it blows up once and then it's done. This place blew up twice. Yeah, this place is a shithole. I am getting the actual hell out of here. Biomass in this area is dominated by plant life. Picking up faint or terror vehicle am I signatures. Top of the... Where am I right now? Oh, the mushroom. Course. Passing 100 meters. Yeah. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Now, my rebreather. up right now you know be a fucking adorable pretty creature and then make literal sounds of fucking demons because i really appreciate that screw you too Seconds. Uh, the game makes it too easy for me. Oh, fuck yeah. Boom, 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 boom. That is like the no Oh, shit. Did they. I swear to God, it feels like they rebalance the fragments. I really hope I don't have a fucking Oxygen. voice changer right now. Get, even if I don't get the fucking, uh, 
Even if I don't get the full move, I still got something. So I take that as a win. Caught on the mushroom game. Oxygen. Come on, you bitch. Come on, I'm not suffocating. about it and the tree leech because I know you're gonna be pushy about that too I just want to find like I don't need bridge fragment anymore game I just want to find one more movable fragment before I leave Cyclops engine or the Cyclops Hulk, Hulk, Cyclops Hulk. But I got the moon pool. You know what? That's honestly probably infinitely more important. Uh, 
Oh god, I fucking bet it is. I fucking just have it in the background for lurking and I have no idea what the fuck's going on. I'm just seeing chat. <laughs> over there like every minute or two and half the time they're in the lobby. I swear to god every time I look back at the fucking stream, she's in a fucking lobby again. Of course it can be just the fact that I conk out for longer than I think I do. Is I focus on the game for long swaps of time and then are actually paying attention to everything else. Speaking of needing titanium. Actually, I can get the titanium. This little area right over here. I'm the late over. No, this is not. Wait. You. I remember this wreck. This is the wreck that caused one of my playthroughs where I nearly lost my fucking mind. I was looking for this wreck for ages. 
because this is where you get the first Cyclops death, mo death module. Oh, I would never forget this wreck after what it did to me. Like, it genuinely almost drove me insane. Because, you know, this game doesn't have a map, meaning I could really pinpoint its exact location easily. So I was literally spending ages because of one fucking door. Where is it? That makes me happy. Where is it? I'm somewhere in this fucking wreck. Charger Park 2. Okay, I'm gonna pull down. Maybe this. Wait, it's a fucking repair door. It's about to fucking go outside. I need to do anyway because I'm out of oxygen. Honestly, almost, um, which is honestly almost more annoying than finding the wreck from the past that caused me to lose my mind. Because I still need to find the wreck that caused me to lose my fucking marbles. Flashlight. Does, does this room even have anything? No, no, it doesn't. So, damn it, this isn't the right wreck. Meaning that the wreck that caused me to lose my mind might cause me to lose my mind again. Because I don't know where it is. And I'm stuck on the fucking wreck. Stop it! Luna! Luna! Stop! Here, girl! Here, girl! New blueprint acquired. the wreck that caused me to go insane during one of my flavors. So that's, that's gonna be fun. Come on, though, now you don't have to scream down the stairs. I 
I don't need that. I don't. I don't need. I really don't even need this radiation suit anymore. It's just fucking taking up my inventory. Slots. So I'm, I'm, no, not actually while I'm here. Save. the battery wiring kit copper wire and titanium wiring kit Fabricator created. Wiring kit also made. Oh shit, I can right click to tag things? That's cool. I'm gonna keep that in mind for the future. Now I just need copper wire. Which means I have to find damn limestone deposits. sleepy, but you just can't get me that well. I'm used to creepy shit in my ears. That's why it says try to scare me. I have literally... I've liter I'm just gonna fucking tell you something about me. I have literally consumed horror games, horror media for like 80% of my life, so 9 times out of 10, when someone tries that, they're gonna fail. I should, I should probably find one that's more realistic, though. I don't know, I'm trying to find a better one, but... Unlike Luna, my brain can put the logic together that it's a sound bite way faster than she can. And you know what? Tell her that exactly. I don't care. Yeah, I know, Sibby, but... You know what, fuck it, tell, tell, her, 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 tell her exactly that. You know what, fuck it, tell her I think she's a scaredy cat for all I care. Just don't fuck it, you know, make it sound like I'm insulting her that bad. I just have fucking nerves of steel from literally tempering them in horror games. I watched Outlast when I was like fucking 12. Or maybe it was 14. I was fucked up, and it didn't scare me at all. Well, actually, I think it kind of freaked me out, but... Scare me. Because horror games will occasionally get me, but that's because I at least feel some sort of dread. In action, like in action shows and movies, I can get into the situation. 
But in horror movies, I'm just like sitting there deadpan. Nine times out of ten, more making fun of the movie than actually watching it. Just because I can't get myself into that, I can't feel like I'm in that situation. Yeah, I played Dead Space. I didn't finish it, but I played it. Mostly just because I got bored. Not even because it's a bad game, I, I need to fucking finish that game. I really fucking should. Yes, please, give me more diamonds. Yeah, give, give me the lithium. That, that's what I actually want. What the fuck am I even caught on? this much magnetite in the entire game. Yeah, I don't, like I literally didn't even get into the game enough. Like I literally didn't even get into the game enough to even determine whether or not I even thought it was. Like I, I literally didn't even get into the first game enough to even notice if there were any differences between it and the Seven. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. Seven out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. Yeah, but even if they do remake two, even if they do remake two, there's no guarantee that they're even gonna add in the multiplayer. So who knows on that? Yeah, because 
It's one thing to remake a game. It's one thing to remake a game, but it's another thing to remake a game and a bonus multiplayer mode. And I went the wrong way. Why do I always go the wrong way? Oh wait, yeah, because I have the brain cells of a chimp and no compass. Mostly no compass. Not like I didn't pay attention to my heading anyway, even if I did have a compass. It can't help. I should make the I should make the fucking compass. Why not? Make the compass chip. Whenever I actually get the resources. So. might have been built into the second one, but they're, if they're doing a from the ground up remake type thing, like new code and everything, then they're probably, they're not going to be required to bring in the multiplayer. But what, what kind of multiplayer it was? It was like PvP board mode? Like what kind of because board mode would more accurately translate from what? Them, I would have made a horde mode, but it might have been PvP. Just based on the time period, because I feel like, at least probably around the time it was made, games loved shoehorning a PvP element into their game for no real reason, honestly. They just wanted to add PvP. And also, because it was probably like a super popular thing at the time to just, just add PvP to your game, it'll be fine that kind of mentality. weren't the best usually because of I usually because of either not understanding PvP game design or not really having the most experience with PvP online net so it ended up being a laggy mess that was hard to play yeah I didn't even know it existed I only knew that Dead Space 2 and re existed I didn't even know two had a multiplayer mode. So that's news to me. And 
like I Oh give me that Oh uh, give me the scanner room fragment for my favorite Oh the scanner room Near blueprint acquired 37 Uh the scanner room you are my favorite boy How much, how much do I, I don't care how much it takes. I need this. Copper or in a table. Welcome aboard, Captain. Shit. I don't have table. seconds. So I can finally find resources easy. Hell yeah. Well, I found I found the reason I needed fucking magnetite. Computer chip and magnetite. Oh yeah. I didn't even need to go out to get the fuck. I didn't even need to go out. I have my face to the table later. Yeah, it is way too much fucking work. So I literally just upload the bot. Speaking of uploading bots, I need to get better at that. God, I end the stream and I never instantly upload the bot. See what I fucking even let's see what I even forgot to upload today. Like I was literally finally caught up. God, I need to just remember. End the stream, go to Twitch, upload bot. Okay, there we go. Bot is being uploaded. Okay, that, that's probably just the game being loud. Well, I figured out why it was drowning out my voice. I never actually manually set the audio down. Every time I make a new channel thing for audio, I fucking manually set the audio to quieter than it starts as. This time I forgot to do it. It should be better now. 
I just forgot to set it to negative 13.6, which is the setting I always set it to. Better now? That's the reason. I forgot to manually lower the volume. So that's why you couldn't fucking hear me. But eh, I, eh, I don't really play myself. I was already running late to the fucking stream. battery in. What, what was I building? Oh wait, yeah, I was building a moon pool. Now we grab out the lead. Yeah, it was because the foot, it was because I forgot to downgrade the audio. Or, it's because I forgot to mute up the audio from the audio it start from the from how loud it starts. Oh right, it doesn't come with the interface, does it? I have to find that separately. After weeks without human contact, it is normal to experience psychological discomfort. Fuck off, bitch. Research indicates symptoms may be partly alleviated by adopting a pet or anthropomorphizing an inanimate object. You're technically an inanimate object. So shut up, Karen. Oh, yeah, computer chip. Need to build myself a computer chip so I can make my goddamn thing. Two table coral and a copper wire. Which means two table coral and a copper. And we're out of power now. I don't really know why. Probably because of the fact that we have one. Emergency power only. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, where is that Degassi base? It's 250 meters. Yeah, I can try to go down there. Mostly because I'm pretty sure that's where I get my my big rooms, which I'm gonna need to That's where that's where I'm gonna get you to sign you. That was not English brain. That like that wasn't even close. Oh, beacon, 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 beacon. Uh, yes, give me the beacon. God, I'm gonna carry one of these every time I go any, any time I try to go anywhere specific. get lost and never be able to find my way back otherwise. Fuck off. Okay, it's 
this way. Down this cave. I was literally directly below me. Oh, it's daytime. Power's back. Okay, it's directly below me here, so I need to find a way down. Oh, a time capsule. Fuck yeah, this could have literally anything. Cheap ass bitch. He literally didn't leave me anything. It, it does not hurt you to leave me something. You're literally ending your save. What did I even get from that? Uh, I love the. I love how he says always bring decoys. When I, I literally don't think I've ever crafted a decoy. I literally just fucking ram past them, and they they don't care. I don't care. There we go. These two are what I'm here for. Kind of this, but the observatory I can live without. And the multi-purpose room. You know, for multiple purposes. And wall planter, apparently. Power cell charger fragment. That would be useful if it wasn't for the fact that the moon pool exists. So why do you exist? Fight back against what, Sleepy? I'm oh, the exploders you can't fight back against because they just they just fucking explode. How do I get into the? Okay, over there. But I gotta go out because I might be able to fight back against the creatures of this world, but I can't fight back against. Ex against drowning and also I don't I, I came here for one reason and I accomplished that reason so I'll come back at a later date I came here to get the multi-purpose room and I got my multi-purpose room that is all I need I also got the bonus of grabbing a sweet delicious memory loss Oh yeah, I got a nice tasty... My brain is not a functioning brain. Yeah, yeah, I'll go do that. Grab some giant coral tube things before I leave. No, you don't. You don't really fight in this game. You, you don't really fight in any of the Sonica games, really. I mean, you can stab things, but you, you can't really fight things. Because, you know, they took away all of our weapons because one... Because one asshole just had to go on a murder spree and take away all my weapons. Oh, not there. And I'll finally be able to turn off this damn life pod notification. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
We are number one. 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 I went past it, didn't I? Yep, I look away from the screen and then I pass my objective. Yeah, sounds about right for me. Anyway, can I build one of these just out the gate? Yeah, yeah, I can. To maximize productivity, treat this space as your home, but never forget that it is not. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former. That only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Bleach is an essential chemical used for cleaning wounds and purifying water. Vital signs stabilizing. Yeah. Yeah, but you, you probably missed the part earlier since you weren't here. But basically all weapon... Cause all weapon um, blueprints are disabled from the fabricator after basically someone went on a massacre. So basically, the only thing that they left was the survival knife. That's the only thing that's still on the roster. They basically said that right out the gate at the beginning. So, by all accounts, they probably do have... Oh, I didn't even have one table crawl sample in my inventory, let alone two. So IRL, we probably have them, and even in the game universe, they probably have them. We just don't get them because one jackass... Yeah, it is a fucking handicap. But I just deal with it. Yoink. Slap that right into my brain. And now I can scan for whatever I want. Like Rex. That's the life pod. But whatever. Let's, let's not deal with that right now. Detecting increased foreign bacteria levels in the water. Performing a self-scan is advised. Okay. Self-scan complete. Foreign bacteria counters reached statistically significant levels. No adverse effects detected. Be vigilant for symptoms. Okay, thanks for... You know, I would freak out normal people, but not, not me. I know what it means. And besides not leaving... I don't know, they, they never really make the disease in this game feel as threatening as it should. I okay, need one more quartz. Um, okay, that should be enough for a bunch of solar panels. Oh, hey, sir. And the fucking amount of emotes you have Never ceases to baffle me. It, it, what? It, oh, it takes two quarts. Of course, it takes two quarts. Build some more tanks, solar panels.
is now I'll have a decent supply of power. Oh, you motherfucker. Yeah, sir. Wait. Oh, oh, okay. I didn't have enough resources to even make. I didn't even have enough resources to make that. Yeah, I know. But Serb's actually one of my friends. Not just the chatter. We but we knew each other way before either of us started seriously streaming. Copper ore and titanium. Please tell me I have copper. Okay, I'll, I'll make two beacons. God, being out of titanium feels illegal. I swear to God, you have an emo for fucking everything. Then again, I guess that's what happens when you fucking watch Twitch. I literally did not watch Twitch before, like, at least, like, two or three, basically whenever I started fucking watching Asher. Yoink. Yoink, give me your tooth. Give me the gold, and give me the actual hell out of here. See, this is what I mean. This is why I need the beacons. I'm fucking already lost. Oh, what's that? Is that another bioreactor fragment? Yeah. Or as I like to call it, free titanium. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Sir. But I, I, one thing I, re emote related I'm never getting over is the fact that one of those fucking generic emotes from that thing Luna showed me was just a butt. The entire emote was just a fucking butt. I, I don't understand it. It was weird. It, it was just weird. Yes, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't fucking understand it. It's fucking weird. Eh, it's, it's about time. I, I, I need, I need to get it done. Oh, everyone, you know what time it is. Let me just pin what I need to pin. That and that. Where is it? Okay, let's get everything pinned. Yep, an encyclopedia of fucking Twitch emotes. Nope. But it, it's it's that time of this playthrough, everyone. You know what time it is? Seamoth time. Part of every playthrough where I get sick and fucking tired of running out of battery out of this thing and suffocating at the bottom of the ocean. So I go out and make the Seamoth. How many do I even have? Three. That is nowhere near enough. Maybe if I had turned the titanium into bars before I left, I would have been able to gather more. Now, 
before I forget, I'm fucking setting up a home beacon. Right here. Make it red. Though now I won't get lost finally. Now let's make some lube. Lubricant, lubricant, specifically. Now I need to go out and get copper and just shit for power cells in general. And also titanium. I grab enough titanium. Be fine. I'm gonna need quartz for the glass. Good, come. Where'd, where'd it go? Yeah, if that third one was a copper, I would have been surprised. Copper! One more piece of copper. I can't carry one more piece of copper. Back home. You know, now that I actually can see home. Instead of just having to wing it and then getting lost. But yeah, for like three hours, this is really good progress. Welcome aboard, Captain. This is way ahead of my usual pace. Like, I'm just going full blast with my knowledge and just remembering of everything that happens in the game. I need to bring those mushrooms. I need to get those mushrooms. If I go this way, it should be the fastest way to getting some acid mushrooms. How many do I need for a battery? Is it two or four? Two. Alright, so I need to bring back four. There we go. Battery number one. Battery number two. Power cell number one. Unbind all this titanium. I'm not even surprised. I wouldn't even be surprised, sir. I wouldn't even be surprised. I need quartz. You know what? It's time to use my brand new toy! Copper and magnetite for range upgrade, and gold and silver for... Yeah, I'm not surprised if I... I'm not surprised I have don't have much silver. Oh, scanning room, you are my best friend. You make my life easy. Okay, back to, back inside. No, not the enamel. Uh, I, I need 
needed that anyway, but I didn't need that right now. Okay, I need a second battery. Okay, I can make the battery. Or, so all I need is lube. God, I literally just got bamboozled. I'm just fucking trying to figure out where I even was. Let's go grab the... Let's go grab the mushrooms I need. From up over here. And then, let's finally make... The new toy. And... Most importantly, getting... Turning this damn thing off. Though, I will turn it on for sandstone. Wait, is there copper ore to find? I will go up there and grab that. In my brand new sea mob. This, this is taking longer than I expected it to. Some lubricant. Battery number one. Battery number two. Power cell. Unpin that. It's time. Time to finally advance, which granted was my fault for taking so long. Could have easily done this ages ago. The sea moth is a fast, safe mode of transport, but remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. Yeah. Get out of my way! Welcome aboard, Captain. Hell yeah. Seamoth time. I can go up, but it's still weird how I don't have it. have one that lets me go down. And my baby is parked. Oh, look at her. Look at how beautiful she is. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure Twitch would have fucking rioted if L got taken away. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Oh, that's gonna get annoying. Coordinates corrupted. Transmission oh. origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Let's take the baby out for a spin, shall we? <laughs> uh, what? <sighs> okay. Hold on a minute, I'll, 
I'll be back. Thank you.
Yeah, it took me a fuck. It took me a second to realize what the fuck that emote meant. Yeah, it took me a fucking second to realize what the hell you meant by that, Serb. Because I thought you were fucking just saying that in response to. I thought you were fucking saying that in response to you not having your fucking emotes. So it fucking took me a second. Blueprint acquired. Yeah, I fucking muted when I left. Blueprint acquired. Yeah, I muted when I left and I just assumed because you just said something about not having your Subnautica emotes that that is what that was referring to. That was just poorly timed. And speaking of poorly timed, uh, cover your eyes, everyone. This thing is bright like an actual fucking welder would be. I hate it. Game needs a dark mode for the fucking welder. I thought I did see food intake. Vital signs stabilizing. Oh, what's this? Ooh, a reinforced dive suit. That's a dive suit I can actually use instead of the stupid radiation dive suit, which is now worthless. Worth worthless oxygen. Oxygen, oxygen. Breathing. Zima, where are you? Okay, first off. I think I'm a Seamoth. I think I'm a Seamoth orange, just so it's easier to see. Could I have done that inside of the Seamoth? Yes. Would it have been a smart decision? Also, yes. Would it have made sense for me to do it? No, because it is a smart decision. Yeah, I, I guess these suits just have built-in welding protection, because this, this guy is basically staring into the heat of the sun and just not even reacting. Ooh, thermal plant fragments. Thermal plants are always a good... If you get a thermal plant going, you will literally physically not be able to run out of power in this game. It's just a pain in the ass, because usually you have to build in specific places or build a lot of those power pylons. It's just a very situational thing. Come on, Reginald, I'm going to eat you. Oh, another fragment. You know, I really should stop scanning these duplicate fragments. I'm taking one of these seeds. I, 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 ah, you fucking bitch. Ah, I didn't even know these things existed outside of the fucking Aurora. Ah, you fucking piece of shit. I didn't even know those things could spawn outside the Aurora. I do not want to have to deal with those things. They're like my literal most hated demon. I'm breathing, game. There, are you happy now? Where's... Where's the thing I'm looking for? Okay, that wasn't even from death. That was just the game being an asshole. Okay, this should be the path to the life pod. Oh, what's that? Is that another time capsule? So some cheap ass can give me nothing despite ending his game? Oh, yeah, I should probably actually scan the life pod for the time capsule. Come on, time capsule. Oh, open up. Okay, did it did they just remove the mechanic of giving people stuff? Or did I just get two people who were greedy and didn't give any items? Signal location uploads to the PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Integrating new PDA data. Uh, I 
see what I hit now? I somehow managed to perfectly back up into it. Destruct something all. Oh god, what? Friends, roar, survivors, okay. To all crew, if you read this, then you have followed the automatic distress signal by this life pod's onboard computer, contrary to my orders. I have been forced to evacuate your orders out of disregard my safety and attempt to reach the designated rendezvous coordinates at the nearest landmass. I hope to see you there. So, uh, where's the landmass? Uh, did who write a letter? Because I did that thing where I talk too fast and then by the time I see chat, I'm confused. Oh. Oh, and the light, and the, and the, uh, uh, the time capsule uh, they they did I um, in time this is what they wrote that's this crap but dry land it's dry land time you know what actually Reginald be free, Reginald. I will come back for you another day. Mostly because I'm going to need as much inventory as possible on the island. Picking up multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. Okay, let's go straight to the rendezvous point. But yeah, they, they wrote something, it just, personally, I don't think it was very good. At least the, I mean, if maybe if the picture was better, but honestly, the picture wasn't that good. But yeah. After having two without even a single item in them, I'm just gonna assume they potentially took away the gameplay mechanic of finding a teleporter. Huh? Yeah, I, I don't understand why they wouldn't give people items. They're ending their save, who cares? Like, unless you're going back in, which in which case, why did you even end the save? And even then, I'm pretty sure you still get your stuff back because you just load a save before you left. <gasps> like, there's literally no point. And the alien arch. Which is completely useless right now. <gasps> oh, I'm just piecing out of the cave. I, I love when you hold an item. You just look so, especially with, how can you not laugh when you almost fall to your death because you're an idiot? How can you not laugh at the way this guy runs with a fucking sea moth in his hand? Look at the way it jostles back and forth. It, it, it's the best, I love it. Should be the path to where I want to go. I hope it is. There we go. Exterior grow bed. Which is dumb, and I don't need that. A Chinese potato. Marble melon. I will skin you live head crab if you fuck with me one more time. Okay, fuck it. You want the smoke? You want the fucking smoke? Yeah, that's what I thought. Jackass. You want to go too, bitch? <gasps> fucking take it. Bring it on. Oh, purple tab. What is that thing? 
I don't know. I found it outside in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. Uh, uh, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. If it were gonna crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People? Maybe the aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't gonna find out by staying here. Piece of shit. No, fucking give me this bulkhead. I'm never gonna use it. I don't even know why it exists besides just for decorational purposes. But there we go. Why? Why did you play? Oh, because I picked up the. I don't know. I found it outside in the sand. Oh, oh, that, that's what I just picked up. Son, I said wait for the storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief. What? You know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, What's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're gonna be so hungry you start wondering what it tastes like. Integrating new PDA. Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. Fuck. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Mida, the cut price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had made us salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Mida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not gonna weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. This planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months, or even years. There we go. Integrate Finally made it up. Pause it. Wait, what? Eh, not, not what I was hoping for. New blueprint acquired. Integrating new PDA data. Why? Integrating new PDA data. Why did you have to play so many of those? Game. I don't even know why the second one happened. It played three of those, and I don't even know why it did. Like, I genuinely don't know why it played three of those. Up. Up. It's annoying, but I'm not gonna say it's not kind of funny. My bad. Did, did I move? Did I move the clown? I I was trying to play the clown horn and I accidentally activated one of my fucking hotkeys. Which is why Lantern Throat. Oh, lantern fruit, how I love you. New blueprint acquired. It 
Yeah, sir. Don't forget that you have your. Don't forget you have the Pikmin. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. Father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and Father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. Of course I went banana. It's like, I specifically fucking moved the honk so I wouldn't go banana. And then I ended up Going banana anyway. Just, just like no matter what I do, I'm gonna fucking accidentally hit the banana. Huh? Um, I just hope. Well, at the min very minimum, I can at least hope that me going random, randomly Welcome going banana, aboard, ends up being very. It's home time. After all that fancy shit, I finally get to scratch my head. I mean, I get to go home. I need to give this, I need to give this monitor a serious fucking cleaning at some point. Like that monitor, that monitor is clean as fuck because I'm not sneezing into it 24-7. I got news from Steam. Yeah. I don't even know, I don't even know what you mean by that. So I could not tell you even if I did now. Like, like, like even if they did or didn't, I literally have no idea what that even is. But it's time to go home. After so goddamn long out at sea. Welcome and aboard, Captain. Sometime on land, to be fair. No, 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 we're not playing this, we're not playing this game. All systems online. There we go, I was wondering what I was gonna trigger. potato in there. Yeah, I don't I don't know, sir. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. I could not tell you. And an interior grow bed for the one, the only 
lantern fruit. Let's go outside and build a foundation. Power restored. All primary systems online. And now let's build some grow beds. Farming alien plants is a proven survival strategy. Great McGill survived 47 months on a healthy, raw, salad of live tree roaches and stank root. I don't want to eat something called stank root. Game. Habitat module builder, place with a better battery. And laser cutter, place with a full battery. And then set all the batteries to charge. Could you not do that game? Like, please? I would actually appreciate it if you could just not. But yeah, no, I, I never even knew that was a glitch that you could do. But I don't really feel like trying to do it right now. Even if it is easy, I don't really want to bug out the game. Okay, it's patched, so good thing I didn't even try. Otherwise, I would have just wasted my fucking time. Anyway, now we got these exterior grow beds. Watch, it's gonna give me copper. No, it's gonna give me full inventory warning. So, I will finally do this. Like, yeah, I'm right outside of one of those places, but it can never hurt to just, you know, be just ever a little bit closer. Anyway, okay, cook the titanium. Go put the lubricant away. Now I'm going to go and make, I'm going to go grab some seeds from the mushrooms. This is going to hurt. You know what? Yeah, that, 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 that's enough. That is enough fucking tempting my own fate for some fucking mushroom seeds. Oh, no, I don't. No, don't throw them out. Plant them. Now let's go grab fiber mesh so I can make some fucking medkits. The shrooms hurt, okay? Like a lot. Yeah, because they're fucking acid mushrooms, which is why they're used for sweet, succulent, double A 
batteries. Batteries. Full health. Huh? Yeah, I can always build one of these big ones. Actually, I should probably make another reinforcement. Where's that? I, d I did have some spirit lifting in there. Yeah. Thought so. Okay, that added extra to the whole base. Now I need two plast steel, which I think is two lithium, and then two titanium ingots, which I do not have. But, there is always plan B. Metal salvage. Yeah, I don't really think it would be much of a trip, Sleepy, as much as your internal organs are melted. Because, uh, yeah, these acid mushrooms are literally strong enough to make batteries. So, Basically, imagine swallowing battery acid. Which is something you shouldn't do, Twitch. I am not telling anyone to eat batteries. Have I made it crystal clear? Do not eat batteries. Okay, now that I've said it for Twitch, because... Both know, we all know how Twitch loves to get on people's shit for random reasons. Yeah, those mushrooms would literally melt you from the inside out and turn you into a fucking meaty soup. A crimson soup of your own fucking organs. And it would not be fun. It would be probably the most agonizing pain you could imagine. Yeah, Twitch is twitchy. They're probably taking some shrooms themselves, which I don't condone. To be clear, Twitch. And again, I also don't condone you causing your internal organs to melt, but, you know, Twitch probably isn't going to have that. Twitch isn't probably gonna fucking lose its shit over that. Yeah, that would probably be the most agonizing, gruesome pain you could ever fucking experience. Eating fucking battery acid mushrooms. That literally sounds like hell. Well, I don't really care the color of the goop you turn into. You'd still turn into a puddle. Oh shit, it's two lithium per plasteel. Damn it. Got screwed over. Now let's at least unpack this titanium. Yeah, it might be goop for thought, but once you get gooped, you're not gonna have any thoughts. Is there even lithium down there? Oh, there's actually just... Is it just one, though? Because if it's just one, I'm gonna look for shale. Yeah, no, I, I think it's just one. Speaking of which, actually... I'm actually gonna look for sandstone. I'm actually going to scan for sandstone instead. Because if I can get those upgrades, then I can... Basically, the, the room will scan faster, and then uh, later I can work on making it scan farther.
Yeah, because the scanner room is literally my favorite toy. It makes just playing the game so much easier. I also just used it to literally get everything I need. Just give me you. You. Unless I can find a... Unless I can find a bladder fish, I'm just gonna have to eat a shit ton of fucking creatures. Or find salt. Did I say something... Did I say something stupid again and just didn't even recognize it? Welcome aboard, Captain. Vital signs stabilizing. Oh, okay. Then again, my brain doesn't need to be gooped. My brain doesn't work at all. <laughs> there we grab the second gold. Now let's go over here and grab two scanner speed fragments. And turn this off. Because it's going to drain all our power. It's the middle of the night. We don't have any power generation. Do I have power pylons? I think I need arrow. I think I need aerogel anyway to make thermo reactors anyway. So I don't think I even can. Yeah, I need magnetite, titanium, and aerogel. And I don't even think I have power pylons to move the stuff. So I literally can't even right now. The best I can do is make a bioreactor and just fill a full tanker. Honestly, a boop emote is probably the least surprising because it's either head pats or boops. Like, there's no in between. It's one or the other. It's either you head patting the streamer or you're booping the streamer. You know, I probably should have told the game to look for shale before I came down here. But then I remember I was running out of power, so that's why I didn't. But at least now I don't have to go all the way to the surface. Oh, sweet. Gold. I mean, I need lithium and not either of those. But, whatever. Game, I don't need this many diamonds. I mean, unless I can use the diamonds I collected to repay my debt for the diamonds I used. Because unless I can do that, then... I don't really know what I... I don't really know what he wants from me. Lithium! Just need one lithium! so much magnetite. Like, I'm surprised I ever ran out of this stuff originally. Yeah. 
Yeah, always be ready with your fucking ungodly amount of emotes. Uh, still excited for the day when I can finally get my emotes done. Even if they are going to be pretty generic for at least a while. Ah! Ah, my balls. Ah, my other balls. Ah, my football. Oh, god damn it. Online. Don't screw with me, game. Just get me into the moon pool. Thank you. What the hell? I don't even know what that is, but I don't even really want to. Can I? Can I? Can I heal the health? Can I repair this, please? Fucking fine. I guess I have to fucking get out of it. All systems online. Well, that was weird. I just know that's very boring. Why are we drawing Vaporeon like one of our French girls? Sir, why are we drawing Vaporeon like one of our French girls? Quack, quack. Was I making the computer chip? Yep. Titanium, lead, and diamond. Did I say titanium? I I already for I'm I'm just gonna grab it just to be safe. Okay, modification station. Can I can I just slap this underneath the shelf? Will that actually work? Hell yeah, now that, now that is a fucking place. I have a battery, a dead battery, and a charge of battery. Thermal blade. Okay. Set it to shale. Go down. Gather shale. Hit lithium. All systems Make online. fins swim faster. Program. Program error. Program error. Connection. Program error. Connection unclear. Dick Cotton Blender. Instructions unclear. Dead cotton blender. I'm gonna get a shit ton of diamonds and fucking gold, but no lithium, aren't I? I already know how this game works. This isn't even meant how you're meant to get lithium anyway. This is just a bonus way of getting it. There's supposed to be a cave where you just find it on the walls. I'm just trying to circumvent the natural order of the game by grabbing it out of shale. No, we're not blendering my balls off. 
Now that is a quote. Instructions unclear. Vaporeon in bunny suit. I know how to escalate shit. 30 seconds. Ooh, oxygen. I gotta breathe, otherwise I'll fucking die here. I gotta breathe, and I don't really wanna die here. Eh, I got it. I got it. I got what I needed. Did I get what I needed? I got what I needed. Ah, my. Why? Why do you do this to me, game? Of course, I did that to myself. I don't get that twisted. Welcome aboard, Captain. Hey, if that gets stuck in your head, that's your own fault. I already forgot what I said. So I am not responsible for any of my actions. Can you just not repair the fucking Seamoth when it's on the fucking bay or something? Why, why can't I fucking repair this thing anymore? Oh, I have to fucking... I have to aim at the upgrade bay hatch for some... Godforsaken reason. Let's turn, let's turn that off before I leave it running all night. Twitch is a weird place. Oh, yeah, I gotta take my fence off. Ah, uh, no, my feet are exposed to the internet. Don't take picture. Oh. That's not funny. That's not funny. Anyway, we got Ultra Guide. We got the. Yeah, I. I just gave up there. High priority automated message from Aurora Live Pod 13 coordinates. Oh, hey, look, it's Bowser's Live Inside Pod Story. I didn't know you were playing Bowser's Inside, inside Story, sir. I said Kassar. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Signal location uploaded to PDA. I I'm just hoping literally anyone understood that reference. I'm just assuming it's the name. I'm just as I don't I don't know. No one appreciated my reference though. So now I'm gonna go eat a bridge. What the hell was I doing? Oh wait, yeah. Oh, before I leave anywhere, I'm building a goddamn compass. Because I get lost enough as it is, I need a fucking compass. Copper wire and a wire kit. And yeah, I, I see what... I don't know, I just wasn't fucking sure, because I saw what you said, sir. I should probably actually finish my... Why do I need help? I didn't do anything wrong. I'm out of copper. Got a fucking skin of sheep. Wait, no, I, I don't need a skin of sheep. I just need to peel my sheep. You ever notice how they never sell sheep hide? Like, we sell mutton and lamb, but you never really see sheep hide. You always just see wool. Is, is sheep hide just inherently less valuable?
Oh, I see it now. It's because it's cutting off. I, I see. I see what it, I see why now. So that's that was probably more of an oversight and just people being dirty. Titanium. 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 Copper. Copper. Titanium. Copper. Oh, I've, I've never seen sheepskin sold. I've genuinely never, I've never really heard anyone talk about sheepskin. Eh, I guess if you see it at Ren Fairs, then it might have just been something that got phased out. Oh, I have the worst thing I could possibly say. I, I don't remember. I already forgot. Anyway, compass time. I've got Weird Al and I'm losing my damn mind. I don't remember what the hell I was doing. I have a knife and you should fear for your life. Let's go find stuff for Aerogel. All systems online. I'm assuming that's the, I'm assuming that's where I need to go. At least. At least I, I'm pretty sure that's where I need to go because sunk to the ocean bed. Huh? I'm a dolphin, motherfuckers. Look at me die. I'm a dolphin, motherfucker. I'm a dolphin, motherfucker. I never made the rein. God. Yeah, I'm. You know what? I'm going back. I'm going back home. I need fluid intake anyway. I didn't drink anything before I left. I need to turn that off before it drains all my power in the middle of the night. And, uh... I had a third reason, which is actually the main reason I wanted to turn back, but... I don't remember now. So, you know what, I'm just going to say, um, I don't care. Because after a while, you just gotta start accepting that you're, you, you're such a forgetful little shit that you don't even know where you are half the time. I'm gonna go shove 5,000 lantern fruits down my gullet. Lantern fruit. Well, I guess I have to take three of them, shove them in there to grow more lantern fruit. Luna! Hey, Luna! And I guess technically Sleepy, because Sleepy was in both chats. So, Sleepy was in that one weird section where he has two tabs open of the same stream for like five seconds. Hi, Luna! And Raiders, obviously. And now I don't remember what I'm doing. Oh, right, drinking so I don't die. You know, that that's probably an important thing to not forget. Oh, thank you, sir. Don't forget to do the other shout-out, the one that shows the clips. G 
you not, please? Sand shark. Thank you. Ah, okay. So Sleepy still... Despite still being here for most of the time, Sleepy still has freaking... I need to resize that. I don't know why it shrunk, but for some reason it shrunk. But how, how was your stream anyway, Nona? How was your stream? I, I still feel uncomfortable drinking bleach water, which is something you shouldn't do, Twitch. You should not drink bleach water and I do not condone it. I don't know why we use bleach in this game to make purified water, but whatever, that that's the game. All systems online. Nona? Eh, I guess her raiding party crashed. I guess she ended up being a casualty. But anyway, welcome in raiders. We're playing Subnautica. I, I'm not really good at, I don't know. I, I stream on Twitch, but I don't know normal Twitch etiquette. No, no, Sleepy, I'm sure she's fine. I'm sure she's fine. I'm just being stupid. She's probably fine. She probably was just tired and went to bed. I, I don't know. You have more context than me. You were actually listening to her stream. I just had it pulled up so I would, I could lurk into it. She's probably fine though. Yeah, we're playing Subnautica, and for four hours of gameplay, we made pretty good progress, I'd say. I'm not ending it at all. I'm just saying. Stroking my own ego. The Aurora is already fixed. We already got a sea moth and a full-on base setup. We already have a moon pool modification station. Yeah, I guess that's fair, sir. Though, I still wouldn't exactly trust leech water. But you can't really fault me for that. Yeah, I know, Sleepy. Usually she does, but I don't know. Maybe she got distracted with something. If it's something important, she'll probably talk to me about it. Probably, at least. But she's probably fine. This is not where I was hoping to go. Ah, yep, there we go. Yep, there's just what I said. See everyone, Luna's fine. She just thought the message went through. Yeah, I told you guys she was fine. Yeah, if the ratio is super small for bleach, then... Integrating new PDA data. Yeah, I've been having a good-ass stream, Luna. Thanks for asking, or saying, I guess you're not really asking. Thanks. Words are hard, okay? <laughs> Yeah, I've been fucking blasting through this game. I've already got so much shit done. I don't even know why this- By the power of jukes. Ow. Fucking major point, jackass. Where did I leave my sea moth? Okay, up there. Yep. Thanks for raiding, though, Luna. 
So you, so I'm assuming it's going to be your usual thing. You lurk around the stream till you sleep, and then you head to bed. Usual um, shtick. Shtick. Fucking shtick. Then again, I I do use shtick. I don't like that's something I randomly said out of nowhere. Where was the entrance of this brick? Here it is. Let's see what's in here. There's gotta be some. I mean, other than just those containers of water. Uh, everyone avert your eyes. Worst part of the game right here. Oh yeah, because it was pitch fucking dark. Well, now you have an epic door cinematic that's too bright to look at. So, I guess that balance is out. Yeah, genuinely, I hate. Integrating so new PDA data. That's something. I already have a modification station new game. Acquired. Why am I filling my inventory with fucking... Game, this is more modification station blueprints than literally any human would need. And why was it behind a sealed door? You should have the modification station by now. Especially if you're one, going into this area, and two, even have a laser cutter in the first place. Oxygen. Yeah, it's like out of anything they could have made fucking realistic, they made the fucking blinding light. But how was your stream, Luna? I didn't I don't think I actually asked. Or maybe I did ask and you just didn't have the message go through. Apparently Twitch is being a butt. Is there a vent up here? Do do I even make the do I even make the joke? Why are there so many modification station fragments? It's like this entire fucking place was just a place to get the modification station. Oh yeah, that, that sounds like DVD all right. People coming for your fucking butt. Whether or not it's just because they're fucking tunneling or because they're just fucking wanting to fuck you over. Ooh, power transmitter node. Finally, something actually useful. Oh, she brought uh, she brought out the booze. Now that might explain her unusual stream patterns, <laughs> depending on how much she had. Anyway, now I can at least attempt. Okay, I think this is the actual one I'm looking for. Life pod 13 with the high priority passenger. Oh, was Shy there? I oh wait, yeah, it was Shy and Blake, wasn't it, that was there? I don't know, I had the stream in the background, but I wasn't really paying attention. I didn't even have it on me. Lithium! Damn, now I'm... Damn, now I'm kind of fucking upset I missed that. If we got fucking spicy. Uh, stop it with the bridge fragments game. I don't want bridge fragments. 
I've had enough bridge fragments. You mean like funny breaking her? Like she was laughing her ass off? Ah, oh, God. Aren't all of Luna's streams labeled mature already? Like I thought she just had that tag to begin with. You know what? I will deal with fragments later. I don't really feel like looking around in a fucking dense area when there's resources to be collected. Yeah, that's fair. Though, I don't know. She usually always labels it mature. What is that? Ah, damn it, it's just a fucking egg. I thought it was a really cool blueprint. Boring. Just children. What's children? When you could have fucking machines. Yeah, I fucking bet it did, Sleepy. <laughs> Do I have water on me? Hold on, can I... I know there's a wreck in this area specifically. Can I actually get to it with the depth module I have. Or do I need a better one to get down there? Okay, I'm assuming I need a better one because I can't even see the wreck from here. Oh, actually, it's right. It's right. Fuck. It's right fucking in front of me. What am I talking about? Why would you... I, I've never understood the purpose of the prawn suit propulsion. Like, I've never understood that. Why does it fucking exist? Ooh, stasis rifle. Now that's an actually useful item. And that's a seizure warning. Like, I wouldn't... Why would anyone ever make that? When you, you literally have the option of the superior grapple hook and drill. Speaking of which... Like, I don't understand why you would fucking ever, and I mean ever, make the propulsion suit upgrade. It just serves no purpose. Because there's only, like, one time in the game where you ever need to use the base propulsion item. So why in the flying hell would you ever make one for the prawn suit? Yeah, I get that, but when does that ever come? That I don't think there is a single moment in this game where that very niche situation ever exists. Okay, we're through the door. No more... Oh, still some eye bleeding. Okay. I need to go back and get my fucking oxygen, but looking in that room, I already know I see disappointment. 
because I saw prawn propulsion, which I already said is worthless. And now it's especially worthless because I literally can't even fucking use it. It's just going to turn into titanium and clutter my inventory when I'm going out specifically to gather resources. Is this a drill? No, it's it's literally nothing. It's just a fucking arm. P-R-A-W-N safety instructions appendix A-14. Don't climb on or get up ah, equipment that is the worst possible moving. place you could have started. Oh, I wonder if the Luna is still here. She has not said that she has raided and run Grant yet. And, you know, she usually says that when she leaves. New blueprint. Med kit. Okay. Oh, oh, wait. I literally already forgot that I fucking got the charge pins. Which, I mean, it's okay. I mean, that's okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say it's worthless, like the fucking propulsion thing, but like, it's just a. I just prefer the speed because usually I don't run out of anything except for the sea glide, and if you use them with the sea glide, it constantly turns on and off, on and off, and is like the most annoying thing you could ever use. It is like the most annoying combination. I, I could fucking physically think of in this game because you can't turn off the sea glide without it being out of battery so it just fucking runs out it just runs out of power turns on or turns off then it fucking gains power back from you swimming and turns back on and then it just keeps repeating the cycle until you wish that the motor that the blades of the fucking sea glide you could just shove your face into them and just fucking not hear it anymore. I've tried it before. It's annoying. But for all the other tools, yeah, it, it could definitely be useful. Mostly because I'm pretty sure that's what it's intended to be used for. <gasps> Do you guys see what I see? Cyclops fragments that aren't the bridge. And now I feel like I'm gonna get a problem of just getting all the whole fragments. But you know, it's at least a better problem to have than getting bridge fragments, because I don't need bridge fragments anymore. Where are they? Up, oh, whole fragment. Though we're still missing engine. We're missing an engine fragment. That's what we're missing. I remember because we got an engine fragment inside of the Aurora. We need to find an engine fragment and then we can make the big daddy Cyclops. I regret phrasing it like that, but at the same time, I have no regrets. Since we already got the moon pool, we're basically just looking for, I think, one engine fragment. And then we've basically gotten everything we need. Do you guys have to make demon noises? Like, there's so many other noises you can make, but why do you have to make demon noises? Yeah, I should go back to my sea moth before I suffocate. So I should be on the lookout. Yeah, I I love the Cyclops, though. It, it's honest. It's honestly a hard 
genuinely, it is a hard cho choice between the cyber the aboard, the cyber truck or whatever the hell it's called in Below Zero and the Cyclops. If I'm gonna be honest, because like the Cyclops is iconic. You can hold another vehicle. It's just an iconic fucking thing in the game. But at the same time, the Cybertruck had infinite... The... I don't know what it's called. But, like, the truck in Below Zero had infinitely more customiz customizability. Because you had, like, aquarium modules, crafting modules, storage modules. But the Cyclops is just, like... It's a Cyclops. Intake recommended. Like, there's no... You can't customize the Cyclops in any way. I'm gonna eat you alive. Yeah, probably not the best idea, but it was an idea. The Cy if you're talking about the Cyclops, the Cyclops can only hold one. Well, actually, the, the truck can hold two. Because it can hold your... Because it is a sea moth if you just detach the back. And also, it can carry your prawn suit with you. So if we're talking about just getting from place to place, the truck's actually technically better. just have to fucking taste, honestly. I don't really know which one I prefer. Oh god, why is my truck's- why- why is my CMOS so damaged? Oh, no CMOS. Get you repaired. No one's breaking my CMOS today. Oh, it's a fucking- Okay, well at least something scary was making the demon noise this time. It was one of the bone sharks. Still scouting out for an engine fragment. Seeing if by like any chance I can find the fucking engine fragment. While I'm here. Where was I going again? I... Wait... I thought this would lead me to where I wanted to go. Ah, damn it. I mean, it's close. Seriously, all this thing happens with PDA. PDA data. God, I... Like, as good as it is for the lore stuff, I hate when that happens. It's like, I want to at least, usually they use these things for new locations. Somewhere near the mushroom forest is the entrance to where I want to go. Let's just get up above the forest. I... I think it's down here, and if it's not this Warning. way... Maximum depth reached. Oh. Hull damage imminent. Where is it? I'm gonna go more this way, because I'm pretty sure that's the ecological dead zone. It should be somewhere around this forest. Yeah, I might hear a reaper, but I'm not fucking dealing with that shit. Wait, wait, what am I doing? I have the fuck- I have the Emergency. fucking- Starvation imminent. I have the fucking fire knife. 
Back here, peeper. I'm gonna make you my lunch. Heh, <laughs> cooked peeper. Well, now it's a soggy cooked peeper. Vital signs stabilizing. I don't even know why I didn't think to do that immediately. I literally made this upgrade for a reason. Mostly because I had a battery I didn't need. I didn't. Mostly because I had a battery that I fucking needed to use. Ow. You dick. Paid fish. You're not very fast. But you are very delicious. Nom. I'm 90% sure somewhere connected to this biome. Is what I'm looking for. So if I just go along the outskirts, I should eventually find it. Because what I'm looking for is that little area next to the entrance to the Lost River. And unless it was the unless it was the other mushroom forest that I was already by. That's a laser cutter. Maybe it was the other mushroom forest. I don't, I don't know. I don't know this map very well. Ow. Jesus. That's where I think this is. Did you fucking not dish bag, douchebag? Wait, no. Why are the why is the doors closed? I I came through here already, didn't I? Yeah, this is the room that had the like four laser cutter fragments. Speaking of which, look away. Lighter, don't don't fucking do it. Don't fucking do it. Why? Game, I will never understand your logic. It put a laser cutter fragment behind a laser cutter door. I will never understand this game's logic. Like literally, and I mean literally anything else would have made more sense there than putting a laser cutter. Actually, I think it was. No, that one doesn't even. That's not. That one doesn't even have a room. Yeah, this game definitely does defy logic, Tyler. Literally, no fucking sense. Kind of logic. I literally didn't even mentally acknowledge the fucking sound this thing makes when moving. Yeah, that sounds about right for Subnautica. Just having literally the apex predator of the game just fucking phase right through a wall, right, right through, and just do nothing. That, that is so Subnautica. Yeah, I'll probably have to fucking watch at least some of the fucking VOD later just to see what the hell went down. And I was right next to where I wanted to go in the first place. I f I'm pretty sure at least. 
Wait. Now I... Wait, is this... Yeah, no, I would probably fucking shit my pants too if that fucking happened. Just seeing the apex predator of the fucking game just clip through your base like it's nothing. Yeah, I never had problems finding the fucking Lost River entrance before. Why am I having so many issues now? It's like, I've literally never had any issues. It's near those islands from before. Apparently it should be fucking like north or south or I don't even know what fucking way this map is. I don't even know what fucking way this map is oriented. But I think if I go north from the islands, I should, in theory. Hit where I want to go. If I go like this way, not not that way. If I go like this way, I should hit where I want to go soon. Like, if I at least find the underwater islands, I'll probably be able to find where I'm going. Oh, please, please tell me this is where I want to go. Like, this isn't where I want to go, but I'm 90% sure this is the fucking wreck. Yes, this door. I have a fucking story about this door. So, I originally came through this wreck one time on one of my playthroughs. I didn't have the laser cutter yet, obviously, because I just started. So I fucking left without, you know, doing laser cutter stuff. Lo and behold, behind this door is, and for what I could find, the one and only... Recipe for the... S oh, lightweight high capacity tank. Vehicle upgrade console. Not, and that, no, that's not it either. Also, again, laser cutter behind a laser cutter door. But actually, I should be excited about the laser cutter, be, about that, because I needed that. Wait, no, right fucking here. Somewhere in this building. I, can, I fucking know it. I know this is the one. I know it. Fucking no, this is the wreck. This is the fucking wreck that had the Cyclops module. I'm out of batteries. I'm gonna just, just replace. Hang on, actually, I don't need that. Just replace it in the habitat builder. I don't need it. I don't need it right now. This is the one and only fucking wreck that has a Cyclops depth module in it. I know it. Fucking know it's somewhere around here. So I'm not getting fucked over again. Because I literally had an entire run almost have me quit. Because I could not find the Cyclops Death Module part Mark 1. And I know it's in this fucking wreck. It has to be in this wreck. It fucking has to. At the same time, it might not be the right wreck. Because I just got two fucking blueprints that are not 
but I'm looking for. Just, I swear to God it was this wreck, or a wreck looking very similar. Wait, doesn't want me to scan? Okay, maybe this isn't it. I still need to find it though. Because without the Cyclops death module. <laughs> I really should have. Yeah, that came at the worst time. I just fucking stopped. I just fucking was about to breathe before that happened. Wait, I think it was the. Yeah, I think it was this wreck. I think it was the vehicle upgrade bay I needed, and not the Cyclops module Mark One. But I don't. Re I don't remember what it was. Like, I, I just, I swear to God, this wreck is a fucking traumatic fucking experience. I, I swear to you, that wreck is a fucking traumatic experience, right? Right there. Is that a wreck? and hope this is the fucking islands. Okay, so I think if I go northwest from here, I will finally hit the blood kilt zone that I've been searching for. And if not, I hit the fucking ecological dead zone and shit my pants. I'm sticking close to this wall. Screw off. There it is. God, why was that so fucking difficult to find? Why did it take me so long? That's not what I wanted to do. Could you fucking get hit, please? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for a specific spot that I always beacon, but then I'll beacon time. Um, drop you. Drop you, and just to instantly stab you in the back. I don't know why I'm so desperately trying to get water from cooking fish. I literally have water on me. Yep, we're definitely in the right zone with those fucking Krakens. I 
I'm looking for the part where it like slowly steeps it. Here it is. This is what I've been looking for. There we go. Now I can gather all the crap that was that's here. Game, I will literally dumpster my entire fucking inventory if I have to. Okay, that's basically what I came all this way for. Mostly for the gel sacks. So, yeah, I drew myself fucking crazy just to immediately leave the second I got here. Yep, game, game be like that. Hey, voices. How you doing? The sacks? Oh, oh, the blood sacks. Yeah, I, I'm not even here for the blood sacks. I'm here for the... Oh, wait, no, they are called gel sacks. Never mind. They're gel sacks. Oh, God, that took me an... That took me almost 50 minutes to find. That literally took me almost an hour to find. What the hell is wrong with me? Why did that take so long? Really hope I can grow these freaking blood gel oil sacks things. I doubt I will be able to, but eh. It'll be easy to get to now that I know where the hell I'm actually going. Eh, I don't mind it. I just always find it annoying because it's the first zone in the game where I literally have to park my Seamoth right at the top. Hell yeah. If I can fucking plan it, then give me my titanium. I already have a crap ton of it. Next. I need to make a gen I need to make a Yeah, I know I can plant the deep mushrooms, that's why I grabbed seeds before I left. Where's my habitat builder? Did I fucking drop my habitat builder? God damn it. Yeah, I, I, I fucking dropped my habitat builder. God damn it. Now I have to make a new one. Or, wait, maybe I put it away. Okay, I didn't drop it. I just put it away. And it's not like making that copper wire is really a waste, because I'm probably going to have to make another computer chip in like five seconds anyway. I just, I just tanked the damage from the... Yeah, I just tanked the damage. Yes, thank god, I do not have to go back there anytime soon.
now I just need a bit more titanium to be able to make the final thing. And then basically everything will be fully automated back here, so I don't have to go back there anytime soon. And there we go. Now, where is it? Fuck. <sighs> you know, I should probably go park my seat on. You know, I was feeling good about myself. I got all the resources back, I got everything growing, and then I read the words Ruby. And just everything went to shit after that. God damn it, game. Yeah, I, I know where to get the rubies. I just I have to go back to get the rubies. Like I just got back here. But then again, the only reason I'm fucking that annoyed. Could, could you fucking build, please? I got that other one close to the wall. Why aren't you able to go close to the wall? You know what? Fuck you. that beacon. Really anything else need. No, 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 no. I do not want to deconstruct the only way I have out of this base. I'm not about to fucking trap myself in a fucking thing of my, in a box of my own creation. the fucking spawn of these fucking biters? I've never seen this many biters before in my life. <laughs> Sorry about that. And now they're fucking everywhere. They're literally everywhere. Good lord. I also don't want to deconstruct my fabricator.
heal up. Liquid up, food up. I don't need I don't need this many med kits on me. Okay, how is the C pod looking? Powered up. Fully charged. Let's get back to the wreck. Well, let's get back to the area. Wait, wrong beacon, wrong beacon. I don't know why in the flying fuck I'm going towards... I don't know why the hell I was going towards the life pod, but I'm going this way now. It's about fucking time I finally made some more progress. Uh, why did it have to be lead? Out of anything it could have given me, why did it have to be lead? Probably should have gone into this wreck. You know, just just in hindsight. Is there anything in here? Disappointment. What about in here? Gen is this genuinely the entire place just for one? Okay, here we go. Like, is this, in is this gen? Is this entire fucking building just for one Cyclops part? Like, I don't see anything else in here. Okay, here's a vent. So hopefully this leads me to something cool. Data box? I mean, that's cool, I guess, but that's not the super useful Cyclops thing. Oh, a light stick fragment. Wait, I just saw one of those. Why did the game not count it? <laughs> Time to look away. Thirty seconds. Yeah, I need to stop fucking not breathing. I'm so goddamn bad at it. I just bumped my own damn seam off. I'm a terrible owner. I guess I say that like the seam off is a pet. Okay, what is in here? Engine fragment or bust? Seriously, the best thing you got is a light stick fragment. That's seriously the best you got, game. Come on, hit me with something good. Is 
Something I already got. Screw you too, game. This wreck was a waste of my time. Or er, what? Did I get anything from this wreck? Like, I think I got something from a box. Okay, thank you. So at least I got the thermonuclear for the Cyclops. Which... No, I mean, I mean, it's okay. It's useful, but... I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna fucking bow down, fucking pray to... Thanks to, thanks to Subnautica. I'm not gonna fucking like bow down and thank the Subnautica gods that I found it. Okay, I need to find the fucking... Like, as nice as it is getting uranite for nuclear reactors, I need Ruby's game. Come on, give me the rubies. Game, at least like one ruby, please. I need to start moving back towards the Seamoth. Give me a ruby or two so I can go the fuck home. I'd like more than one, but I at least got one. Fuck off.
Oh, I didn't actually scan this. 30 seconds. I thought I scanned this before I left. Ruby. This will be the death of me, I know it, but I don't care. Oxygen. Oh yeah, no, this was 100% the death of me. But at the same time, I'm not even sure if this would not have... You know what, hold on. Let's just get nestled right here. Open all my stuff while I was on the ground. Yeah, the whole, literally, the whole reason I don't fucking play Permadow, fucking, I forgot about the fact that I have to go back to my fucking Seamoth. God damn it. Time to swim back to the Seamoth. Smack, smack, smack. Come down today, try some corn. We will sacrifice your newborn. Just gotta get it back. Hey, the bit thing is working. Thanks, Sleepy, for the bits. Yep, and I, I got distracted. Okay, I'm back. Pikmin thing was never broken, it just disconnected from, tits just disconnected from. Oh, here's all my stuff, by the way. Got a lot more shit. Bet I'm going home. Yep, yeah, this honestly would have been one of my fucking most, uh, one of my fucking fastest playthroughs. Get it for advancing if it wasn't for this stupid hour-long search for this shit.
Hey, dick face, sit up straight. Yeah, thanks for reminding me about that, because I was literally in, I was literally like fucking slanted posture. Like, it was the fucking worst thing. And that still needs to go because I never have water and even if I did have water Well You know, I drink it all in like a minute because I have no self-control Off we go back to my house so I can do something what I'm not really sure <clears throat> excuse me what did I even hit what did I even hit I call bullshit on that I did not hit anything I haven't removed it because I'm a lazy fucking dick. I mean, there's something else I haven't done for stream, but that I've been meaning. To oh, yeah, I keep forgetting to upload VODs. I think that's what it was. Because I don't. Re if it's not that. I don't fucking remember what the hell it was. We go into the wild blue yonder. Why am I singing that? I don't. I don't know. Lantern fruit, my beloved. Do I still have the. Do I still have that plasteel? Yeah. Aurora, we're approaching Fuck. the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's... Well, it's better than the alternatives. We've well, sent you the coordinates. Guess who gets to play until almost It'll 2 in the morning? It'll take us a couple days to align our orbit. It'll be late night entertainment. Time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Yeah, I was specifically trying to not activate that. There we go. Large room placed. Hell yeah. What the fuck? I, I believe I can fly. <laughs> what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? I believe I can fly. I believe that I'm gonna die. There's fucking monsters everywhere. Why am I floating in the air? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Why the fuck was I floating? Also, where are the walls? Are I supposed to have. Yeah, okay, walls. Yeah, apparent fucking Lee, I did. I, I need more titanium. I I don't even know where to start on that. And you know what? I'm not even going to start. I'm just going to accept it and just pretend it didn't happen. Because it's the only way I can stay fucking mentally stable in times like these. Speaking of being mentally stable, let's go check out my fucking resources. Hello, jail sack. No, no, you're going right back in there, so I can hit you twice, hit you twice, and then, you know, still actually profit. 
shank you to death, you know that? And craft the arrow gel. You're good. You're good, sleepy. Enjoy lurking for however long it is you're going to be up. Well, we all know what's next on this little bucket list. We got the two arrow gel. Now we just need uh, the we, we need we need the plasteel actually. That's the only thing we're missing. So the titanium. We literally just need titanium. I will fucking skin you. You know what? Fuck it, fuck it. Bring it on. Bring bring it the actual fuck on. Fucking Bring it. I'm sick of your shit. Sick of it. I'm fucking sick of your shit. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, oh, who's loud and annoying now? Deal with him anymore. I'm gonna have to build another moon pool too. So I'm gonna need so much titanium. It will not even be funny. Speaking of moon pool, I need to make. That guy was getting on my last nerve. Just fucking being annoying, trying to attack me, burrowing underneath my stupid fucking plants. So I um, uh, shanked him to death. You know, like a rational adult. That's how a rational adult solve their problems. What, till the police come to arrest me? After a while, she just stopped saying 30 seconds of oxygen left remaining. She just says 30 seconds. It's the weirdest thing. So much titanium to grab. Yeah, I, I would be so fucking on track for this being one of my best playthroughs so far if it wasn't for that stupid hour of trying to find that stupid... That literal hour, almost, of trying to find the fucking blood kelp zone. That literally took me almost an hour. So yeah, that, that was not fun. Okay. I know we have enameled glass. Two diamonds. Two lead and two arrow gel. It's time. And also, this will count for my yearly playthrough of Subnautica. So, um... Hell to the fuck yes. It is normal when first piloting a prawn suit to feel a sense of limitless power. Prawn operators receive <laughs> to counteract this yes. You will have to make do with yes. self-discipline. Yes. You don't you fucking dare. Welcome aboard, Captain. 
<laughs> Can you hear you fucking bitch? Get back here. You can't run. I mean, you can run, but you can't get the fuck away from me. And now I still need that second moon pool, though. No, I need for it. Oh, just titanium. Oh, thank God, it's just titanium. Ah, it's gonna make this so much easier. I can just run over here and get more metal salvage. Ah, ah, you, you. Put shit on my arm. Oh, there's so much. There is so much metal salvage. I need to turn that thing off, otherwise my I will not be able to see. Though I don't have enough metal salvage, so I shouldn't turn it off just yet. Well, let's go towards one of the literal fucking, like, 30 things of metal salvage. That should be the closest ones. Yoink. Yoink. Okay, I can't carry anymore. So I'm going back and I'm turning off that damn thing before everything is metal salvage. in the building. I see something in the bottom. I swear to God, I saw something in the bottom right for a second. I guess I'm losing my mind. I kind of wish there was something I could craft with metal salvage other than just titanium. It'd be cool to be able to craft something out of it, but eh, game mechanic's got a game mechanic. Turn this fucking light off. Can't fucking see with it on. Yeah, I'm excited for getting high on batteries so I can fucking see. Oh crap, there are a lot of new stuff in the modification station. I wouldn't happen to have any more... I wouldn't happen to have any more, um... Rats. Not rats. Let's see how much this brings it up to. Now I'm at 135. I'm not really sure what I was at before. Okay, what did I need for the moon pool? Lead and loop. Yeah, because this puppy deserves his own... His own, um... Bay. Oh, 
Also, in most of my Subnautica playthroughs, I don't think I ever really lose a ship. I mean, most of the time, my ships don't die, is basically what I'm saying. That's usually because I play ultra cautious, just because of all the work it takes to make a ship. Could you not, biters? You're doing so good at leaving me the actual fuck alone. And now you gotta go and ruin that streak. Okay, I probably have enough time before the thing crashes to at least attempt to make a um, vehicle mod station. Limestone, limestone, I need limestone. Also, I can unpin that now. Yeah, I need the engine. Not clear, I think it's only. Ah, uh, no, it's three pieces. Oh. Actually, I can play this now. This is Life Pod 4. We've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us. I don't know how long we're gonna last. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. There is no radiation Single anymore. Corrupted. Approximate again, transmission there. origin recorded to date to bank. Like, there's no radiation anymore, but there's also no life pod four anymore. So uh yeah. It doesn't really matter either way. Yeah, I'm gonna need four copper for this build. Also, I'm gonna need to judge how. Wait, okay. I'd say 10, 15 minutes at the most. Before that goes down. As in 10, 15 minutes to get there. because I could go now and do the stuff at the gun, but at the same time, I don't want to be waiting around once I get there. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I'm forgetful. Jesus. Welcome aboard, Captain. There. I, I'm 90% sure I have no copper left. Uh, speaking of which, save. Yeah, I... Yeah, I'm never playing this on Xbox again. Mostly just because that version's a clusterfuck. Because it's a port. And ports... typically get fucked over. At least when it comes to the developmental, developmental resources. Okay, computer chip. And done. You know what? I actually. Just in case I want to make shit in the future. 
like expand to the right, or I guess the left. Putting it right here. module tier one I need it which means I need more metal salvage or alternatively I just go and grab some lifestone chunks Yep, this was honestly a good option. Gives me the gives it gives me the remaining fucking titanium I needed while also getting me some bonus copper. I don't know why I had to slow down to say such a basic statement. But yeah, this is this is for the it was for the best I did it this way. Getting all the resources I need. Titanium. Titanium. The next time I'm looking for titanium, I'm probably just gonna fucking look for fragments. Maybe it'll be the off chance I get a new fragment I, d I still need. But nine times out of ten, it'll just be some old thing I don't need anymore. It'll give me some free titanium. Seriously, one titanium off. Whatever I got, whatever I got, copper out of the deal. So works for me. No, I'm not stopping. I'm going to get this fucking thing. And actually want fucking titanium. Just, just, oh. Is there reformed titanium here? Oh well, yeah, I was going out and getting titanium, and I wasn't actually doing anything else. Usually I'm usually I'm multitask and shit, but not this time. Okay, yeah, so I was right. It is too. And more gel sacks. There's the titanium. Now I need four quartz. 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 Oink. Death module. Ah, 300 meter crush depth. 
you know, check the modification station. I could do that. Maybe not in a timely manner, but I could definitely do that. Fucking stalker teeth. Whoop. Get the stalker teeth. Make enamel glass. Grab more titanium. Make enamel, not enameled. Make. What the hell is it called? Take in a moment once I have the titanium I need. Where in the like now that I'm looking for metal salvage out here, I can't find any. Hey, hey, hey. video game logic. Yeah, it's, it's getting into 15 minutes. I need to fucking start heading over there. Otherwise, I might not even make it in time. Yeah, I need two more. But most importantly, I need to dump my fucking inventory before I go over there. Can't go over with a full inventory. Vital signs stabilizing. Uh, where's where's my sea moth? Oh, it's it's in the bay. It's just doesn't look like it's in the bay. Okay. Obviously, we're doing a red base. Here. Dark orange. Dark orangey color. Like that. Oh. Caps lock, could you just could you stop fucking me for like five seconds? Yeah, not the most uh, not the most original name, but you know, you gotta make do with what your brain will allow you to make. All systems online. And now it's off to the Sunbeam landing site. Before I go, though, stop grabbing this course. I should definitely make water. I just restocked on my coral tube samples and I know I have salt. solved. Dump the inventory. Keep the water because it's water. And now let's head over to the island. It's like every time I leave this, it's like every time I leave this damn thing it gets another dent. Okay. 
getting ludicrous. Literally, every time I leave my Seamoth alone, just another dent. It's just dent, 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 dent. God, I sound like a fucking car nerd. You know, you know the type, the people who make their fucking car their entire personality. The only difference is my thing keeps getting fucking dented. And I don't like it. And most importantly, if this thing breaks down, I'm, I'm, I'm dead. I'm, I'm just screwed. I physically need this thing to fucking traverse half the areas of the game. If I lose this thing, I'm done your rings. Could you not? Please? Nothing there. One little rock. The entire island runs in to render distance. I can probably make it through in 10 minutes. Is what I would say if I didn't forget the fucking purple tablet. Luckily the silent gives you a purple tablet, otherwise I'd be fucked. Because anytime I go anywhere related to the story, I should bring my fucking purple tablets. And the bulbo tree. Energy signature in the region. Cannot identify. I think I can eat the. Yeah, I can eat those. <laughs> Just the fucking wobble animation when I'm running. That never gets old. Shit, I. Can I, can I just drop that real quick, game? Thank you. Oh, those were the same thing. Okay, speed run time. We got nine minutes to go through this whole place. Scans indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database. Performing structural analysis. Huh? Yoink. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Um, I just got an achievement for finding the enforcement platform. And now it's time for the Minecraft boogers. Because that's basically the only thing you can really call these. Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. Also, uh, I love how we just straight up skip the dialogue on whether or not that giant cube I touched, I should have Unknown even touched. Language. Attempting translation. Ooh, yay, it's everyone's favorite part. The cutscene evader. Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. What do you think I'm doing, game? I can't tell whether I'm moving too fast for the dialogue or whether the dialogue's moving slow. Alien rifle. Huh? Yoink. Huh? 
What's through here? Oh, teleporter. Can't do shit on this side. Up we go. Got seven minutes. Get back through. Up. Second purple tablet. I'm not even sure if I need two, let alone three. But whatever, I'll keep them on me whenever I go to a new zone. Oh, well, no, it's a doomsday device. Whatever will I do other than be proven wrong about the tablet? Like, not even a minute later. Scans indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. Yeah, whatever. Once an idiot, always an idiot. Oh, wow, I'm stupid. I'm gonna put my hands in places they shouldn't. For the third time. This guy needs to stop sticking his fucking hands in places they don't belong. Translation reads... Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. What the hell could it ever be talking so about? Complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing, detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Translating background broadcast. Oh, you're not, you're not gonna identified. do the creepy hand thing? Okay, screw you too, game. Okay, that only took about seven minutes. Because it's gonna, it took me two minutes to get down here. So, should take a minute and a half, two minutes to get back up. So, uh, yeah. I definitely didn't fucking. I didn't words, brain. I definitely didn't need as much time as I thought I did. I mean, if I fucking gave myself 10 minutes, then I definitely would not have made it through here, but I have another five minutes to do whatever the hell I want before the sunbeam comes to uh, rescue us. And I'm pretty sure I did everything there is to do here. It's not even like I can do anything with these ion cubes, because the only portal I found is deactivated. <gasps> Which is weird, because I swear to god I could activate that portal. But, eh, I guess I'm misremembering shit. I mean, I guess I could climb up the mountain. I think there's a portal in there and also I could get a pretty sick view from up high but if I don't get to a place where I could really see the aurora or the sunbeam then I'll just uh I'll just start bolting back I'm not even gonna ask how there's just a positive pure salt on the fuck not even on a beach it's on a cliff Okay, this should... Actually, another thing about this should be the teleporter. The one over wherever this is leading to. I should be able to... Yeah, there we go. First off, shale. Second off, insert the ion cube, activate the teleporter. That should be the one to the other island. At least I'm pretty sure it is. <clears throat> that, that's literally just a fucking dead end. Oh, 
Yep, purple tablet number four. Actually, the peak of the island. <coughs> yeah, there's no good place up here to watch the sunbeam explode. Or, I, I mean, eh, who am I kidding? We all know it explodes. I have not been subtle that this is not a first playthrough. So, hopefully, no one is getting spoiled by me just blatantly saying what's gonna happen. No, I'm pretty sure everyone. Then again, at the same time, this game is like 10 years old. Like, if you haven't fucking played it by now, you probably were never gonna play it. Let's just, let's just be honest. Okay, let's go out and watch the sunbeam explode. Like the most action packed thing since the Aurora exploded. You guys are way too close to the surface. Nope, nope, that's just a bird. Or what this game qualifies as a bird. Oh wait, no, that was the gun activating, not not the fucking sky. I thought that was the fucking sunbeam entering the atmosphere. Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing site. Is that a building oh, down there? There they are. What do you mean you can't identify it? I built it. It was to murder you guys. This was all a secret corporate plot to destroy whatever company you work to. down in 10, 9, 8. Why is it so it's fucking blurry? The what the hell's what the fuck is wrong Change with the ship? Set thrusters to full. Hold on, do I have fucking motion blur on? But what the fuck is wrong with the ship? It's just a blur. Well, I mean, now it's just pieces, but it was literally a blur. What the fuck was wrong with the ship? You know, you're a dick. You know that, right? Out of all the ways you could have just kept this planet quarantined, you just had to kill anyone who tried to land. Is, is the car really that bad that you don't want anyone to even fucking land on the planet? Oh, oh, you're just gonna sit there? You're you're not even gonna go back to your idle pose? You're just gonna sit there triumphantly? Just gonna ignore me? Screw you too. Especially screw you. Uh, oh, now you, oh, now you go back to your fucking normal pose. Fuck you, building. Eh, I, I. Yeah, fuck you too, you moaning, oh, moaning fucking banshee. Eh, I, I. But I think I'm gonna end it here. And I'm probably by the time I actually physically end the stream, that'll be six hours. Which is a pretty good stream, if I do say so myself. So let's save here. Save again, because I'm a paranoid. And quit back to the menu. 
and then swap to the just chatting. Because I do shit really fast. And uh, while we're here, does anyone have any recommendations for raids? Because uh, no one be raiding or no one be streaming at uh, 140 in the morning. You know, except me, apparently. So anyone got any ideas? Or am I just going to have to scrounge around through the raids to see what I can find? Seriously, I'm not even streaming a game. Why are you dumping my bitrate? Screw you. Okay. Let's find someone to write. I keep forgetting that they... I keep forgetting they fucking changed the raid menu. But honestly, this is better than it was before. You know what? Let's just raid this person. Because why not? Okay, that should be the button. But anyway, I hope everyone had a good night. I know I had fun playing this game, getting my yearly playthrough of the game in. Because, yeah, I play this game yearly. I don't know why. I just I just play it every year, usually. This is a good thing to play. But anyway, I hope you guys have fun over there. And uh, I'll see you all later. Mm, goodbye.